pick a spot on the ice, pick something so that you can learn from it. Okay. And that's exactly what they were trying yeah, to do there. Okay. So a blank in one here in the morning draw of the 2024 Viterra Scotties, Skylar Ackerman, Mandy Seltzer. A blank on the board here in Tisdale. So you're a pizza person, but you're married to a wing person, and your kids are salad people? You can't pick your fam, but with over 50 menu items to choose from, you can make them all happy. Order today and enjoy Boston pizza at home. Saskatchewan Championship Curling is brought to you by Singler Real Estate, serving Saskatoon and area for over 15 years. A blank in the opening end, Mandy Seltzer and Skylar Ackerman. Yeah. As we go to the second end here in Tisdale, we say good morning to everybody watching all across the streams and across all the province, the country, and I've heard around the world. So uh, good morning. Hope you have hot coffee and are settled in for a great morning of curling. Darren DuPont, Kim Odson, Sean Joyce, Susan Lang will be alongside. Susan's got coverage of all the other action here this morning. Penny Barker is taking on Amber Holland. Robin Silvernagel is taking on Janet Tisdale after Robin had a loss last night. Uh, and Nancy Martin is on the ice on sheet for Brooklyn Stevenson out of the Highland in Regina, making her first her first uh, draw, I guess, of the uh, of the Scotties after watching last night. Here's the two pools. As you mentioned, uh, Penny Barker on our featured game last night with a win. She sits at top pool A alongside Nancy Martin and the four teams who didn't play last night all on the ice this morning, including Mandy Selzer. Here on our featured game today against Skylar Ackerman as we welcome you into the second end. A blank and one. Kim, uh, Mandy had a chance to force Skylar into the one, but on just misread the final stone? Yeah. Um, I don't know if it was misread. It was obviously just thrown a little inside and uh, really let her off the hook there. Um, the Seltzer team got off to a great start, and uh, the Ackerman team was sort of chasing. And Yeah, a little bit of a miscue there by Mandy. And let the Ackerman team have the easy blank. Yep. Skylar Ackerman yeah, 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 throwing yeah, the red stones, yeah, curling out of the Nutana yeah, Curling yeah, Club yeah, in Saskatoon. Yeah. And they have the hammer here in the second end. After their win last night, they, be they beat Michelle Engelot's rink last night. Get their yeah. Scotties off on the right foot. Yeah, for sure. As you've said, um, this yeah. Ackerman team, a very young team, but uh, certainly make their mark on the curling world. Uh, they uh, had a strong preseason, um, learning, playing well. They're uh, a good, fun team to watch. Up-and-coming team, for sure. Making their third Scotty's appearance. And, and now with that... 2-0, that would be a great place to be <laughs> sitting after two draws. Absolutely. little work to be done yet, but... And now with that first stone just a little... Almost out of the forefoot, they decide now they're going to throw the corner guard, so... Get this game underway. Taylor Stremick throws second stones for Skylar Ackerman's right rink. Two and a half, really the 2022 curling. Canada West curling really champion. Line's really good. Right to me, right to me. Keep it moving. really good. Great judge, guys. We have seen job, this Gail. tactic a few times over the last few years with the five rock free guard zone where they'll they'll make a play on the rock with the first one and ignore the second one because that way they don't have to face they don't ever worry about facing two guards that way. So she makes her more aggressive play, plays that corner guard with her second one. She, she knows that she can run the guard back on the next one. Mine's good. Scott cross center. Yep. Yep. Whoa, 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 whoa. Good. Good. Should remind everybody, is that rock dangerously close to the center line. <laughs> 
great time for the no tick rule um, that we've been well, talking about last right? night and a little bit on our free time and in between. Except we're on the sixth stone and it wouldn't have been a no tick rock yeah. anyway. <laughs> but that has uh, been added. Yeah, new rule this year. Rocks that touch the center line can't be ticked or removed until the sixth rock at the end. And what I just said, that might be part of why you see them play that. So the first rock comes in, they play it instead of playing the corner guard right away because they know that if they throw the corner guard, the other team's going to throw the center. If it's on the line, you it becomes riskier still to play a shot at, at shot rock because if you touch that guard on the way by, it goes back. It, it, it all becomes a question of timing when you want to make your move. They like to get to the corner, especially in the even ends. But she's, she's got to deal with that one in the middle first. And the game of cat and mouse between the two skips gets really interesting. And it starts early in the game now. Makes things really interesting. Megan Selzer throwing second stones. Skip, hard! Now they're on it. Quick, gotta go! Hard! Read up, read up, read up, read up! That will hit all right underneath, out the other side. Oh, it's Behind down. the other corner almost. Yeah. Yeah. Practice. Do you like that? And if we just rip, that's fine. Okay. No, is this is pretty close. To make yeah. the play in this way. Yeah. So playing the run back. Yeah, we can play it in And if they one. just peel, yeah. like okay. said that's not bad too. Peel. I think I made a mistake earlier. This is Taylor Stremick. I think I you, was looking at Kaylin Skinner. You did. And called her. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So. Close. Close. It was still Close. it was still lead stones at the time. Oh, Ashley, Ashley, Ashley. Okay, that's fine. And just the peel, as you mentioned. Not yeah. a bad second option. Good throw. But Mandy, again, in decent shape, two in the rings. and For sure. We've seen uh, the Seltzer team many times over the years, and one of their strengths is certainly getting rocks in play and uh, usually a great handle on, on draw weight. And as I said, you tend to see a lot of rocks in play when they play. So what's missing that you'd like to see from them this week to get them over the hump to win their first provincial Scottish? They do a lot of things well. They're, they're here a lot. Yeah. They're, they're here a lot for their age, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, but to answer that question becomes tough because we haven't really got to see them a lot directly. We see them at the events and, and you know, they're there. But we maybe only see them where we actually get to watch them like this one game a year. And it's, experience is part of it, you know, certainly. Uh, the ice might be a little different as we go on through the event. Those are things that, that they're going to have to get better at. But uh they're certainly not scared to play with rocks and play. That's going to help them. Well, well, well as we, see, like, we saw last Easy. night, uh, oh. you know, with Cherry. Close. Had a lot of opportunities yes. constantly Whoa. in Whoa. the mix for big ends and to Please. be in that game. But it's one shot Whoa. here. Yep, yep, yep. It's one run, shot there. Run, run. Oh, for sure. Run, run. And it sounds cliche to say okay. one rock at a time, but uh, you got to finish it off. you got to finish off the ends. So still Mandy Seltzer, line one. It's a good way. Here in the second end without the hammer. And her third, Aaron Barnhart. Mine's good. Got lots of room right now. Lots of room, wait only. Mine's good. Got to curl a bit. Got to curl a bit. Lots of room. Got to curl a bit. Megan's off. Yep, finish it. Hard, Megan, go! Hard, get in behind, go, tuck go, it, go, gotta go. go. Reach the center, go. reach the center. Go, go, Hard, and they go. drag this one all the way in and under. Good, good job, Stay hanging out a little bit. Got a piece under, though. Piece under and sit okay. too. Yeah, like that, just like back line. Great. Back so now that's yeah. looking, at. looking at playing a quiet weight, come around, bump that one back on the center line. Is that enough ice? Can I have a little more? Becky, 
Ashley Tivano throwing third stones for Team Ackerman. Pass keep the going, guard. Keep going, hard on the yellow, hard on the yellow. Go, 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 go. Drag it out. And Great. they will, right out the back. Very nice, and not only that, um, look at how they came around with a back line weight, and uh, that's a pretty tight garden. Came around, really got nice to the actually. nose, half buried. Atta girl. Good throw. Mandy, however, just going to play the run back here. First one is just a bit firm. Yeah, I know. Okay. Especially since it's her color of Since it's her guard, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I usually ask them the girls. Okay. Usually, if you tell them, then they're going to look at how close this was. Shows you how nice the ice is, too, and the movement on the ice. And nice weight control there as well. Great look coming in. Skylar Ackerman, line one, with the hammer. And we're trying the run back. Get a piece of it, and out the back. Touch and go for a second. I, I don't know that, it, that panic call, these teams, are, they, they want to play everything so fine, so precise. They knew they had a piece of that rock coming back. They were panicking because they wanted to stick it behind cover. <laughs> They're not happy just to make the run back. <laughs> she wanted to stay buried, but she does stay sitting too. That's important. The, st the force is still in play. The double is is really thin. It's not necessarily a shot you'd play to begin with, It's but it's there as a plan B. Yeah, looking for the hit and roll behind the center. You got a couple of good rolls. You can roll behind center or roll past it in front of the other stone. As at, long as at you're still too. shot, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's important. If you're going to have any chance at picking up two, you need to sit shot rock. That's right. Skylar Ackerman. Here, slow. Yep, yep. 2018 U18 national silver medalist. The hit, and yep, yep, where will yep, this? Yep, 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 they get it all the way across. How's that for a good shot? And it'll sit right on the corner. Yeah, had options over there. Looks like it's between works, the two top <laughs> guards, but uh, basically frozen. So certainly does the job. Mandy looking at just playing the straight oh, come around now. Smart. Uh, soft on the release. Yeah, it just wasn't back. Yeah. It was like kind of straight. Yeah. Andy Seltzer will have the afternoon draw off. That'll be her break. She'll face Jessica Mitchell later on tonight, 7.30 in our evening game, or our evening draw. Her final stone here in the second without the hammer. get this buried. Yeah, I got a long way bath by the guard here, sweeping tuck, tuck for Wade it, and for Curl. It. Yeah, it looked like the brushers Wait wanted back. to go. Yeah. Little more, hard. Not quite. Not quite enough. So it'll be third shot stone, still one for Skylar Ackerman, and there's no look to... Let's make sure we take enough ice. Not yeah, a lot there, no. Nope. Just uh, drawn for two, okay. drawn to the edge of the forefoot. Needs to get a piece of the forefoot for her second point. They did look at, at the hit on their own, which you could do, I mean, but yeah. it's not for an extra point. Yeah. 
Yeah, just gotta had that, be, uh, like, had that draw stopped yeah. about eight inches shorter, <laughs> then it might have been there. It would be for three. Yeah. yeah. And I don't know that you'd play it when it's only for two. You've still got plenty of the forefoot for the draw. I was going to say before when you were talking about Skylar and that they were the silver me silver medalists in the U18 in 2018. Just watch her mechanics on this. Um, such a such a great classic delivery. I mean, that's why she's going to be around for a long time. Watch the way she throws. It's uh, textbook perfect. Line's good. And there it was. Her final her. stone. Her heels Line's a little too much on the ice for my liking, but. All you, line Final line stone now. here in two. Gotta bite the four. Skylar Ackerman. 14-6. In her rink Should out of the Nutana Club in Saskatoon looking. Real good. Sit in the forefoot. Nice throw, Skylar. Nice touch. Good and there it is. Put two on the board for Skylar Ackerman with the hammer. Two yellow, two red. Looking to pick up her second win of the 2024 Viterra Scotties. As we continue on the early morning draw. And our action on the streams will continue here from Tisdale. I look for challenge. I, I'm not the type that seeks out something simple, something easy. I want to mold future technologies, have a say in the way the world works. You're paving the way for the future when you're working with emerging technology. But when you see your own project succeed, it really does give you a great sense of accomplishment. Working at SASTEL as a recent grad is an incredible opportunity to be exposed to different technology, different people, different environments, as well as to grow your own career. Hi, this is Dustin Keltoff with Saskatoon Auto Connection. Did you know we've moved to a massive new location in Sutherland? Let me show you around. We've combined sales, service, glass, and detailing into one automotive superstore. Whether you want to fix, maintain, or spruce up your ride, or trade it in for something fresh, we've got the team, the services, the inventory, and the financing to help you with any of your automotive needs. At Pharmasave, we see you and we care for prescriptions for common conditions, expert health advice, or support for life's little mishaps. Come talk to your Pharmasave pharmacist. Live well with Pharmasave. Skylar Ackerman picking up two in the second end with the hammer after a blank in one. So we go to the third. Mandy Seltzer out of Algoni will have the hammer. Line's good. T. T. Line's good. T. All you, line's good. Really curling now. Really curling now. Really curling now. Coming up. All you, line's good. No, we're going to cross. Oh, yeah. Caitlin Skinner throwing lead stones for Team Ackerman. Nice touch, guys. Really good. We'll bring good that team. right in. Catch full forefoot. Nice, Caitlin. Yep, from that yesterday. <laughs> we'll just have to talk about it. That's the perfect weight. Yeah. So the cells are team trying to. Uh, <laughs> decide whether they're going to hit the first stone or whether they're going to throw the corner. Mandy asking teammates. They talked about it a little. Looks like they're playing the hit on the first bit. one. Because we can finish it so much better we can hold it. Really hard. Hard, hard Aaron. Push. Gotta go. Hard, hard, hard. Hard for peace. Sarah Sluka playing leads to throwing lead stones for Mandy Seltzer and just off the mark. So what went wrong? <laughs> well, they missed. Uh, <laughs> just a miss. <laughs> yeah. Um, yep, for sure. Must have been a little inside. It was an intern. Whether she turned it in, whether I mean, certainly can't really tell from this angle. Yeah, but, but it, we haven't really talked about it since the first one. But keep in mind, this is the team that Three, hasn't yeah. played yet. Good Three. point. All of the practice is draws, so Two, they're maybe right still getting a little bit of a feel for how much ice they need to play That's with right. the hits and. And on top of that, just to compound that, how many hits does the lead actually throw? So she has no feel yet at this point in time of what are her rocks going to do. It, explain the practice. You know, each team gets an opportunity to get on the ice and practice, and at the end of it, it's the draw to the butt. Yeah. To determine the hammer, we obviously keep that in the bank. 
it potentially comes into play when we look at tiebreakers down the road into the weekend. But now they're practicing those draws, spending most of that practice time on those on that draw weight. Well, and because that draw to the button is so incredibly important, um, because as we had said earlier, they uh, they they see the tiebreakers or and everything else with that draw to the button. Plus, that gives you hammer. Most of the practices now is spent getting the ice in shape and practicing that draw to the button to try to get hammer. Um, so you don't actually see the entire sheet and what's where it moves and what it does. And probably not throwing any hits in yeah. the practice. Well, you might throw one or two in the first couple of rocks just because the ice isn't, the pebble's not broken down yet anyway, so you're not really going to get a feel for draw weight, so they'll throw one or two down. And not saying they will necessarily. Some teams will, some don't. Throw one or two quick, but it, it, even those, you're not throwing them to try to read the ice. You're throwing them to break the pebble down that draw path that you want to throw the the draw to the button. Yeah. On sheet one, Amber Holland had attempted to navigate a very delicate shot through a port on the forefoot, ended up chipping out her own second shot fully into the open. It allowed Penny Barker the opportunity here for the open hit for three. She made it. It is now three to two for Penny Barker starting the third end. Susan Lang with coverage on the other three sheets of play. Good start for Amber Holland, but uh, Penny Barker coming back with the the three ender. That's a that's a big one, and we saw her do that last night. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say last night we saw three ends all over the place. Three, two, yeah, big scores. So we'll keep our eye on the other coverage throughout the morning. First game for Amber Holland out of Chrono. One of four teams making who were at the bye in the opening draw last night. Here in the third, Mandy Selzer has the hammer. this right away. Okay, whoa, whoa. Yeah, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Yes, 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 yes. yes, 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 yes. Hit it thin, hit it thin. So we don't hit it out. And they'll get their own. Another overcurl. Yep, in that same spot. It's okay. So opens things up a little bit for Mandy Selzer. What? Well, and, and she had the overcurl on her, her last one in the first end as well. Like just freezing on it? Gave up the yeah. chance for the blank when it could have been a force. And so just not maybe taking quite enough ice on the hits. Still figuring the ice out for sure. it on top, we'll get a little bump, but won't remove it. It's pretty thin, but if you just do this, that's still good. How much? Like a third, a quarter, a third, nine. Are you paying attention, you Sean? Yeah. It's the double. Kay. Yeah, it's, <laughs> I'm just... Here it is. I don't know if it's quite as thin as she thinks, okay. but I don't think she could ever hit it and roll right across the top. It would be tough. I don't imagine she's throwing it hard enough to roll right over the top yeah. and miss everything. Yep. Roll right in front of it's not bad either. Yeah. There's some pace trying to remove too. Yes. Yes. Yep. Yep. One, two, nicely done. And look at the spin up to get in front of the T line as well. It'll end up sitting full eight foot right on the T line. Good sweep guys. Wonderful shot here in the third. Yeah, nice throw by Ashley. One of the things that the South Ackerman team can do well is 
throw that big up weight, which is key. Yeah, yeah. yes. Good sweeping. This is not the first time we've heard, got to go for a piece out of the Salzer team. Can they get a piece of it? No, it'll go right past. So first time on the ice, talked about that. You don't want to set up a triple. Couple of misses early in this one. I think if we make, like even with that. Whether it's we could just go here, but then we have throw, this, but. Whether it's where they have the broom. Go here. Here's a look at the double. Yeah, it was a great shot. Nice up weight to make that double. Not as good. Like biting four. And we've talked about this a little bit before. A little thing, but it's not a little. The double rolls out. Not only did she get the double, but that spin up and separating those two rocks, right, it, it really so even had uh, the Zelda team made that next shot. It was pretty tough to make the double all the way across the rings. You were by getting that extra roll, you were sitting pretty good to get the fours. I'm good. Really close. Full all eight. you guys, full eight. Top eight. Top eight's good. Top eight, Max. Top eight. Top eight, Max. Full eight, oh. right. Probably T-line. Oh, Take it whoa. back. Take it back. No, just, Where? Just back. 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 There is a difference of opinion when it's not yeah. going to be where they want it. Where, where you don't want it is leaving a pocket. Well, and what's your best chance of okay. a steal here? Or at least the toughest force that you can leave them? Yeah, you're not looking at a steal. They're, they're worried. They were worried that if they left the pocket, she freezes into it, and, and the deuce is the, back the, in play. The deuce yeah. is back in play. And so you've got the thrower thinking, well, if we're going to be beside it, let's be way past it. And the skip, and, and I think the brushers were on board, too, thinking it was going to stop in front of it. Sorry, I think we all thought that was even. And then... Should have taken it back. From Aaron Barnard. Because then this is hard. She'll get one, and she'll remove two. And stays for shot rock. Snow's 10 or 11? So you get a look at action on across the other three sheets of play. Nancy Martin and Brooklyn Stevenson all tied up at two in the third. 11. Nancy with a win last Never night. Really thrown anything inside yeah, out. Get her Scotty's off on the right foot and Brooklyn Stevenson, her first game here this morning. I don't need an inch more. Yeah. So Skylar Ackerman with her first here in the third. Eleven, ten five. Close. Ten five. Kaylin. Even though they did play last night, this will be a spot hard, where Kaylin. they really haven't had a hard, lot of chance right to see a rock hard, 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 inside hard, out hard, hard this wide. Okay. The hit will roll in. Where will it stop? Good sweep. Right in the forefoot. It's a little firm. That's good. Yeah, good sweep. Good. Right. It's big. So now what's Mandy okay. thinking here is? Well, she's looking to uh, whether she plays the hit and roll on top to that side or how thin you actually have to hit it to make the double. They were just sort of lining it up. So just playing the open hit. Hope to roll to the other side. when she was lining up there's there's no reason here to not play the double it's tough to roll in front of that rock and if you just hit and stay somewhere Skyler hits it on the nose and yep. you're forced so you take your shot here if you make the double you got a chance for the blank if you don't make the double doesn't matter where Skyler puts your last one you're going to have a shot for your one yeah you mentioned how tough it is to get across and this sit is on a top tough, yeah if you were ever able to roll and sit right on top that would be your only play for two Yes, yeah, yeah. Real tough to make it. And even then, with how lively these rocks are, Skylar could throw hard enough to blast it out. But those aren't always made. The hit, we don't have to worry about it. It'll sit right there on the forefoot. 11, 11. Okay. Have we said this before? Uh, cells are on a hit, over curled. They, they made contact this time, but they were trying to roll and, and hits it right on the nose. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> I did that too. My bad. <laughs> nice one. Let's do it. I got you. You got her. Here we go. 
literal Taylor's way if we can, yeah, but nose I is like fine. Yeah. yeah, so the Ackerman team just wanting to uh, keep this rock in play right there. If they flop a little to the outside, that's okay, but looking to sell, make Seltzer take their one. The unspoken part of that is, okay, if we could roll just right to the spot where she has to think about whether she wants to draw or hit, <laughs> that's where we want to roll. Yeah. But you kind of need to turn around and ask you, so how far can yeah. we roll before yeah, you're going to... For you're going to think about it. Yeah. yeah. And wouldn't it be great if they answered? Yeah, yeah. they probably lie. Yes. <laughs> Looking for the yes, hit. For the Need roll. to keep the shooter Time in the play. Roll. Any roll. Any roll. Okay. A little roll into the eight foot. And so it's an open hit for one. Here for Mandy Selzer. <laughs> Ten eight. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Final stone here in the third. Yep. Mandy Selzer out of Balgoni whoa, whoa. with an open hit for one. Yep, yep, yep. Hard. He's having Hard. been gimmies early on. But nicely done. Makes the roll of the button. Finally looks like they're starting to make the adjustment on that ice. And once they once they catch on to it, they're a very good hitting team as well. They get one here in the third. And it's two to one through three ends of play. Pick up some coverage from sheet three. Robin Silvernagel has just drawn her last red rock to the top of that biting the eight foot. This is forcing Jana Tisdale to throw the outturn draw looking for full eight foot to count a single. Just coming in now, the brushers are Obviously holding back, a little reluctant. Kelly Schaefer, third for Robin Silvernagel's coming out with her broom there to give it a really, really good scrub. Oh, I think looks like two points there for Robin Silvernagel with Janet Tisdale just going that little bit deep. 3-1 lead after three ends. A little deeper, that's a steal of three. That's a dangerous yeah. shot, and Robin needing a win this morning. Yeah, for sure. Everything I've worked for, everything I've sacrificed, has led to this. It's out of your hands now. All the gold medals in the world can't help you now. You could throw the perfect rock and still miss, but it just takes one. You leave it all out there on the ice to leave behind a legacy. At Viterra, we believe in the power of connection. Our world-leading agriculture network connects producers and consumers to supply top quality food ingredients each and every day. Our team takes great pride in working closely with farmers to help feed the world. It's something we've been doing for over 100 years. And as an industry leader, we're dedicated to playing a critical role in meeting the needs of a growing world. Because together, we're stronger and achieve more. At PharmaSave, we see you and we care for prescriptions for common conditions, expert health advice, or support for life's little mishaps. Come talk to your PharmaSave pharmacist. Live well with PharmaSave. No. To the fourth end we go. Skylar Ackerman will have to hammer back in four after a single from Mandy Selzer in the third end. Yeah, and it. Back in. Nice tight center guard there by the Seltzer team to start off this uh, fourth end. Nice, Kayla. And a nice come around. So, game on. Good save, Taylor. Well, it's always fun when you get teams that love to have rocks in play. Absolutely. So far, it looks like we're going to see a lot of that. Sarah Sluka. Has some great experience 
played in a Scotties with Michelle Englott. Yeah. She's going lead stones here for Mandy Selzer. That was back in 2012. A couple of years ago. If you. <laughs> Threw me off. I thought, did I have the date wrong? <laughs> <laughs> nope, you didn't. I remember that, that was the first one I did. Was the That was the Humboldt one. She beat uh, Stephanie Lawton yeah, in the final. Maybe a point less. And of course, we showed you last night. It's been 10 years since the Provincial Scotties has been back here in Tisdale, and Stephanie Lawton winning that. Had some great footage of that to kick off our TV coverage last night. Very cool to see, and it's it, it's fun to see the community get back involved. And all the sponsors, when you walk in on the board, the community just completely buying in. Good crowd last night. Good crowd this morning, too. Yeah, for a 9 a.m. morning weekday. Really nice. It's fantastic. 15-8. Nice, Kaylin. Good spot. Oh, some great shots by the leads this end. Got a classic setup. It looks like it's still pretty quick this morning. And, and when you hear 15 8, <laughs> and that's in the rings. 15 8, what they're fast. talking about, they'll time the rocks, start the watch when it hits the close hog line, stop it when it gets to the far one. And you don't typically hear numbers like 15-8 for rock that's in the rings. That's Not at all. Hard line, it's very go, fast. Go, 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 go. What would be a typical draw to the button? 16-17? No, oh, the no, opposite, no. The actually. Way. Oh, the other in, way, sorry. Because yeah. it's got to be traveling yeah. a little bit faster. In, yeah. in your clubs, you're, a that's lot right. of the clubs, you're going to see 14, 14 and a half, somewhere yeah. in that range, depending on your club. A lot of times, your range will get faster. Yeah. You'll see it get up to 15. I think I heard somebody say 15-2 on one earlier, but that was still a guard at like 15-8 is just lighting. 15-8, normally you're thinking that's a halfway guard or higher. <laughs> and that rock was full 12 and biting the 8, so this yeah, is quick. lightning. It just keeps going. Yep, 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 hard. It'll be interesting to see our feature ended early last night, but we picked up the tail end of, of Ackerman's game, and she had a draw with her final stone, and... They were cleaning it early, but it stayed out wider. And they were a little panicked that near the end, is, is this going to stop in time? Because at the end of the game, it's still lightning quick on the edges, but the middle, because there's been so much traffic, the pebble gets worn down a little bit more and it slows down a little bit. And you really have to watch them. A lot of times you'll hear, you'll hear the uh, line caller talk about it's still in the good stuff, so to speak, and that's where there's still pebble. So be careful if you sweep it out here because it might just sail right through. Keep on going. And so they'll have to keep an eye on that it, and when that starts to come into play. Are you Taylor again? You are Taylor again. <laughs> Saskatchewan back road terminology. It's like being in the grooves or being out of the grooves. You don't really know when you get out of those grooves where out it's going to go. Out of the well, ruts, yeah. yeah. Unless it's in the blizzard, you can usually <laughs> see the ruts. Here you can't really yeah, see the line as to, know. you know it's there somewhere. Skylar Ackerman still sitting one. One red stone tucked in way behind. Yeah, you got it. Megan Selzer Whoa. throwing what? second stones. Off! Sarah! Some U Sports go. curling yeah, experience hard, back at the U of R. Hard, Sarah! Read up! Hard! Big! Quick, 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 quick! And it'll catch a piece of that red stone in the 12 foot. I I thought you were going to say it'll over curl. <laughs> <laughs> After we gave them credit last in for looking like they'd started to figure it out, and there's still another over curl. If nothing else, I'm sure that'll be part of the discussion at the fifth end break, is that they're just going to have to open up that broom a bit on, on the hits. The hits are moving more than they're more than they're used to and and more than they've been icing for so far get a piece and not go, hit the roll go, go, go. and oh, just <laughs> Ooh, yeah that was a great opportunity to uh, be sitting three and even maybe 
rolling behind those hey. corners. And yeah, it's just not, her normal, really. not only did it gives them the advantage now, but I don't know that they can play this role yeah. without jamming there. Look, look at the jam. Yeah. <laughs> the double is there, but not without the jam at the back. Yeah. yeah, to make the double, you're probably not only jamming it, but dead stuffing it. You know, if you, if you made the double, you'd be in behind cover. Even if you lost the one on the side and just killed all three of them, you'd, you'd be okay with that if you're going to roll buried, but I don't think you're losing it. I think you're going to dead stuff it late in the eight foot. First stone for Aaron Barnard here in the fourth. He's got the hit, and it will roll away. They were looking to roll in front of their own, but that's not necessarily horrible where it was. I'm not sure they were going to have second anyway. She's not going to play the double playing it this way. She's just going to play the shot stone. So that stone's going to be in the rings, hanging around. It's the one you might get a force with later. Still got to deal with the red one that's buried. Easy. Yes. Yes. The ones that hang around oh, always end up oh, causing oh. problems later oh, on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, exactly. She'll get the hit, but she won't roll okay, underneath, so. Leaves Ackerman sitting two, though. Good throw, Ashley. Sitting two with the hammer here in yep. four. After getting their deuce back in two. Maybe a touch more? And now you hear them talking about getting a little extra room. That's right, just what Sean was saying, Aaron just asked for a little bit more ice there. Although the release looks like she uh, took a little more even than what, <laughs> where the broom was. So well, sweeping for the curl. And the other side of that, now they wouldn't have seen this yet, but we saw it a few times last night, that inside out uh, turn, and it doesn't matter which side of the sheet, but going away from the center line doesn't curl quite as much. So you see that, taking a little more even out of the delivery, and it was left out a little bit, so you lose the shooter. You see them not trusting it early. That will put more questions into your mind, and part yeah. of it was just that they're playing an inside out there as opposed to most of the hits that they've thrown so far and over curled were outside in. Final third stone, Ashley Tivano. Easy, team easy. Line's go. Room. T. Well then, T back four. Not back. T. No. Room. Are we in front of T? Top four. Pass to curl. Pass to curl. Trying to bring this around underneath. Taylor, a little if you can. Protect it. Yep, 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 yep. That's good. That's good. That's good. Oh, oh. Good. Nice, guys. It was a very nice shot. It was key that they stayed on top of the T line there, which they did. looking at all of her options. Yeah, yeah, I think her first shot was the freeze to that one on the top of the forefoot, or first call, I should say. There for a second, thinking of maybe playing the run back on the yellow, but uh, looks like she's going back to her first call. Don't think they can get shot by playing this. Yeah, if you get shot, you're not gonna be very much in front yeah. of that stone, and then there's gonna be room for Skyler to get it out, for sure. What would be the benefit of playing the run back? There's well, some chance to get them both. Yeah, I don't think you can get them both, but quite simply just eliminating, um, considering that the uh, Seltzer team, they don't have hammer, so, you know, they can't get a one, so uh, looking yeah, at just yeah, eliminating. Might have had the chance, just because of the angle that they're at, if she runs it, misses the, the top stone and just dead stuffs it on the second stone. Second, yeah. She'd be dead buried as well behind the red stone out front. It, it's, a, it's a great result, but it's a harder shot to make. Can you get this past? And no, just a little rub off the red Ackerman stone. Yeah, just a little light there too. More about too. the weight, yeah. Yeah. 
So still, Skylar Ackerman lying two with the hammer. Yeah, looking at coming around to sit three. Yeah, I like that. Right on the R. Yeah, I had you here. Mandy, perhaps lucky actually, when it's going to be light like that, that she did rub off the guard because she can see all of her own stone. There's a good look at it. Right. And that stone is a little better to run back in because there's coming from that angle, there's a pocket between the two reds. It's it's hard to get a bad result running that one in. For sure, you're going to have options, which is why that uh, Skylar's going to come around and maybe take that away from her. Yeah, Ashley's was 15, but that was the first rock we kind of threw there. Yeah, I agree. She, uh, she just threw 15-9, and the they would have... that way was back 15-9, <laughs> and it's fully top 12. Top 8, buddy. Here we go. Let's make a good one. Top 8. Skylar Ackerman in her first stone. She has the hammer here in four. Line two. Bring it around. Curl! Hard, curl! Hard! Right here, right here. Okay, that's good, that's good. Well, they didn't get it to where they wanted, but they took away that tap that we were talking about, or the run. Yeah, but they left the come around to the yeah, button no, to okay. steal a point. Sure, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's better than... We got another taking update, look, Susan. Yes, taking a look here. Janet Tisdale's last rock. You can see the red silver stone buried behind a mountain of rocks. That was all set up. Kelly Schaefer had a fabulous hit and roll off on her first shot and Tisdale's team couldn't get to it, couldn't draw that shot either. It's a steal of one for Silver Nagel for 4-1 lead. Another steal after stealing a pair. Adds one more in the morning off to a better start for Robin. So good opportunity here now for Mandy to take this end away by a uh, nice come around here on the center. Uh, uh, never, never get signed yeah. when the sweepers yeah. won't bend over. <laughs> it's got a really nice line coming a in. It's a question line. of where it's going to stop. Did get second shot out of it, so it's <laughs> only a shot for two. Yeah, draw for two. Sorry. Skylar Ackerman, one and zero. Oh, yeah. After a win last night, trying to open up a three-point lead with her final stone in the fourth. Leading two to one. She sits one with the hammer here. Dealing. It's a draw for two. sit down it will still holding on to the forefoot so another deuce on the board for Skylar Ackerman here in the fourth end four in the books and it's a 4-1 lead over Mandy Selzer of Balgoni here in Tisdale at the 2024 by Tara Scottis this is it it all comes down to this rock Hours in the gym, the weeks away from my family. This is what I've been training for. And all those voices trying to tear me down. I'm here to silence them. We've given everything we have for a chance 
to get everything we want. Hi, this is Dustin Keltoff with Saskatoon Auto Connection. Have you heard about our unique VIP program? It's only $49 a year and gives you amazing discounts for all the vehicles in your household. 20% off labor, 10% off parts, 25% off tires, free windshield stone chip repairs, and much more. Complimentary vehicle washes and shuttle service, SGI accredited for auto glass, and some of the best auto detailing in Canada. Making automotive easy, affordable, and honest for you at Saskatoon Auto Connection. So you're a pizza person, but you're married to a wing person, and your kids are salad people? You can't pick your fam, but with over 50 menu items to choose from, you can make them all happy. Order today and enjoy Boston pizza at home. To the fifth we go, 4-1, Skylar Ackerman with the lead on Mandy Seltzer. Mandy will have the hammer here as we head to the fifth. to climb back into this one, but Skyler's done a great job with the hammer, picking up two in both ends. Yeah, that's kind of classic, classic strategy. Get two, hold them to one, get two, hold them to one. Nice shot by Kaylin there, putting it right where you want. That three point lead. And the three point lead changes the strategy. They're not going to yep. make the play on the hit. They got to throw the corner guard now. Certainly don't need to discuss it this time. Sarah Sluka throwing the lead stones for Mandy Selzer. Their team out of Balgoni, their ninth appearance here at the Scotties. Still looking for their first win. And their first draw here this morning. They're having the bye last night in our opening draw. The line's going to be a little tight, I think. Ashley's wrong. Ashley and they'll get oh, a Ashley, bye Ashley, in the afternoon draw, too. And face Jessica Mitchell tonight at 7.30. Over curly, Okay, split center with it. Easy. Whoa, over curling, over curling, whoa, whoa. Yeah, you can go a little. Go a little. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nice, Kaylin. Good judge, guys. Very nice. Right on the center line. Yep. Directly over top of that red stone on the button. So Sarah looking at playing the freeze on the one in the rings. And this finally is one of those situations where the no-tick zone affects the strategy because they actually put the guard on the center line. <laughs> but you have to open up the room a little bit. Before that no-tick zone was there, even if you were playing a shot like this, as the skip, especially if you know your lead, you might skinny up that broom and take a little less ice because the thought process being that, well, if we rub it on the way by, that's not, ba that's not bad. Well, right now it's bad. If you rub it on the way by, it goes back, your stone yeah. comes off. So very nice throw, nice shot. That's exactly what they wanted. Stremick. Okay, really nice. Second stones Ashley, for Skylar Ackerman. Ashley, Ashley. Yep, yep, yep. Straight, 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 Bring straight, straight, this straight. right in on top. Yeah. Just a little bit of an over curl. I don't think it moves. She'd like to be on the corner. Yeah, they were worried about lining these up. I mean, okay. if you look at it now, you can see that uh, that yellow stone in the middle isn't going anywhere. Whereas if they would have sat on the corner. One of the sweepers just happened to bump that corner guard as they were getting out of the rings. They and, were just and she did admit it, but nobody at that end could remember where the rock was. <laughs> <laughs> the person who was looking at it the last time was the only one that remembered. Yeah, but good communication. Got that move back over just a touch. Yep. Hard. Yep, hard. Strong 
one for Megan Selzer. And she'll remove that guard. Boy, it was important that they put that guard back to the right spot because now they got them double lined up. It's <laughs> she knew where that guard needed to be because she knew <laughs> she knew the role she had in mind. Just a three, two threes, guys. Little less for two. Yeah, if you left it back Just over there, they're more. both gone. But well, yeah, you could double peel them easy, yeah. Don't know if Scotty would have double peeled yet, though. It's that situation in the middle is not great for her right now because everything is just the three rocks are wired so that the yellow stays and the two reds go. Needs to curl. Hard curl, Kaylin. Easy though, easy though, guys. Good judge, guys. It's another one in, halfway into the eight foot. Yeah, I'm not sure that was great for them. You make the yeah, double yeah. here. If you don't touch the yellow at all, you're still in front of the red, that's good. And if it does touch the yellow going by, it's just gonna promote it onto the red at the back of the button. You make it even more well lit yeah, on back there. Yeah, it could. I wanna catch that one. But if, if you miss it altogether, miss the, the yellow one, you just make the double. You're sitting second and third. There's no real good Whoa. double for the Akron team because there's a jam behind it. Whoa. Yeah, it's end setting up decent for this other team so far. Right. And if they ever end up blasting everything in the middle, she's got a double corner on the other side. You saw Amber Holland has put a pair on the board. And now has a 4-3 lead over Penny Barker over on sheet one. Did get the little tap on her own, moved the, uh, like the, the red shot stone back a little bit. So it's cells are like sitting this. one. Do you like that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I it's a tricky little shot here though. Yeah. Uh, they, they do have air, but that's a pretty tight, tight rock that they're coming around. And to avoid the red in the back of the eight foot. Right. Hack, whoa, whoa, whoa. So looking at just throwing hack weight here so they can get some movement once they get by that one in the 12 foot. Nice shot. Nicely done. <laughs> I've always found that, and you can I love your thought on it. I heard curl, straight, curl, straight. When you hear hurry, whoa, hurry, you know, and you can't decide, it's usually pretty good. <laughs> that <laughs> <Well>. is true. <laughs> but. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really tough on the sweepers when they're doing that, too. It's who do you listen to? It's, there's, there's times when you, as a brusher, I'm sure, just want to stand up and say, okay, you two talk this out, and when you make a decision, <laughs> let me know. <laughs> And that's what's a little harder now in the last few years with the, the curl and the straight thing, too. Um, not only is it just, yeah, whoa, it's curl straight, which way? Yeah. Read off, hard, Megan. Hard, Megan. Read off. I'll get a piece of both. Where will it sit? It'll roll away to be third shot. So still one for Skylar Ackerman right now. It's a good shot, though. Yeah, that's still a good situation for, yeah. for Selzer. The middle's going to be cleared up with this stone. Should be. The one that rolled to the back, her own stone is behind cover. You can see it from that angle. So Skyler's not going to have a chance to move that. That stone at the back 12 is going to be pretty lonely. She's got to get a roll here not to leave a double. Ashley Tivano. Her final stone here in the fifth. Not even worried yep, now yep, about yep, rolling and not leave the double. They're worried about not jamming it on their own. And it will roll just past. We didn't hear it <laughs> in the back 12. You don't hear that other stone go. It's, it's usually a good sign. doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> okay, looking at running the double here now. That's so good. 
I got 10 3, so. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, Sarah, go. Sarah. Sarah. Hard. Go, Sarah, hard. Hard, Sarah. Now they're hard. on it. Hard. Gonna hold the line. Read up, read up, read up. We got Curl one. That they didn't get. And, oh, narrowly avoid jamming on their own in the 12 foot. Back. Now let's go over to sheet three for an update, Susan. Janet Tisdale attempting a delicate hit and stay for two points. Trying to hang on there on the side and not sure if it's rolled too far. I can't quite tell from this angle. We'll have to give it a minute, but this two-ender, possible two-ender was set up by two wonderful draws by both Jade Bluer and Jana. We'll Kelly Schaefer looked overhead and then backed away waiting for them to agree, so I think they felt it was one and I thought the stick might come out. But they agreed. We might have to wait till the score goes up to be sure because <laughs> I didn't see any fingers or anything. I tend to just on those ones you look at which third just stands there and waits for the other one to look at it because they, they usually think they have shots. So yeah, body I language tells me it was one. I think it was just one. Important game for our defending champion, Robin Silvernagel. We've got our eyes closely on that one after dropping her opener last night. And this pool format, you guys talked about this early on. Two and we losses, will. you're not very comfortable. We will ad nauseum for the rest of the event. <laughs> yeah, you'll hear it more than once. Good shot here as Skylar Ackerman puts it right on the corner. And so it was that single four. Tisdale, 4-2. Four Silver Nagel's team dodges a bit of a bullet and keeps control there for the next end. Get the hammer back up to. Tisdale really almost falling victim to the same kind of thing that's affecting Mandy Selzer here this morning. Neither team played last night and they're just not quite there. You know, she's had, we saw in a couple of the updates, she missed a couple of draws just by a little bit. There, that roll just rolls a little bit too far. Same thing that's been happening to the Selzer team. They're, they're over curling on some hits. It's you can see it already here this morning. The teams that didn't get that first game under their belt are a little bit behind the teams that have already played a game. You know, they, they don't have the read quite as well as, as the teams that played last night. First stone for Mandy Selzer. She has the hammer here in five. Line's good. Line's good. T line. Against a couple of red stones right now. Got a curl. Settle down. Right on top, full eight foot. For a shot rock. Yeah, give Skylar the chance to come right on top of it, though, and uh, force Mandy to take a single. And I just continue on that, that thought. If, you, if you're going to have that game where you're a little off and you're behind, it doesn't help that when you're Selzer, you're playing against the number two seed, and in Tisdale's case she's playing against the defending champion so you're a little bit off and and the team you're playing against is no slouch <laughs> yeah <laughs> not the game you circle as one to yeah we can afford to have an off game here no not really not in this field the final stone from Skylar Ackerman going to bring this in and freeze right on top of that shot stone. Line's good! All you guys, Line's good! Hard! Get in here, girls! Hard! Line's really good! Push Sweepers hard. picked this one up right hard. away. Line's great! Read up, read up, read up! Just go! Hard! Go to the lead! Trying to drag it in. Hard, yeah. Go, 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 go! Can they get it all the way down? Go, 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 go. At least to be shot stone. And it'll come up short. So unable to drag it all the way down, and it will be an open draw for two points. Needing full eight foot. Yeah. 
talked about it last night. Sherry Anderson had an opportunity to get four in the fifth and just missed. And what that could have done going into the break to change the game. She would have been up one. Instead, she was down. Chance to put two on the board and go into the break down 4-3. Yeah, you're right. It's, uh, it, it's good for momentum for sure. Not really looking at this, but I think there was backing back there. Well, she's starting to think about bending over anyway. That's that's <laughs> closer. Yeah, that's trying to hold the line right on the yeah, backing and mm, unable sure. to. I First think look they looks went like too far. one yellow. Yeah. That was a case where if you're if you're they needed to make a decision and it really yes. didn't. It, there really was no decision made. Uh, they've got to decide if it's going to be deep. We got to sweep for line and sweeper should have let them know. They were kind of wondering, should we? But yeah. no decision got made, and it overcurls and, and still slides a little too deep. So unable to really grab the momentum in five, they get a single, have to settle for one, and Skylar Ackerman leads 4-2 as we head to the fifth end break, and our coverage continues from Tisdale and the 2024 Viterra Scotties. Saskatchewan Championship Curling is brought to you by Viterra, SaskTel, Saskatoon Auto Connection, Singler Real Estate, Coldwell Banker Signature, Boston Pizza Restaurants of Saskatchewan, SaskTel Max TV, Curl Sask, and Real Cast Media. Hi, this is Dustin Keltoff with Saskatoon Auto Connection. I consider it an honour to be able to give back to our curling community, which has been so good to me. Thank you for supporting Auto Connection and making that possible. I would like to do even more with your help. From now until the Sandra Schmerler Foundation Telethon, Auto Connection will donate 100% of the proceeds of its VIP membership sales to the Sandra Schmerler Foundation. If you've been on the fence about trying our service centre out, it's time to call us today. When we were first looking at these e-bikes, I read the reviews. What they talked about was an e-bike grin, and I had no idea what an e-bike grin was, but the first time I powered that bike up, I had the biggest smile on my face. It was unbelievable because unless you own one or have driven one you really have no idea what that feeling is like it's it's uh, it's hard to describe around a few different laboring jobs and I found out that I like talking to people and SaskTel provided me an opportunity to talk to a lot of people. Business owners, this is their livelihood. This is what they do on a day-to-day -day basis. Anything that I can do to make their life easier, that is my ultimate end goal. I would definitely encourage somebody to apply at SaskTel. It's a great company to work for. There's so many different variety of things you could do that there's probably a good fit for you. Everything I've worked for, everything I've sacrificed, has led to this. It's out of your hands now. All the gold medals in the world can't help you now. You could throw the perfect rock and still miss, but it just takes one. You leave it all out there on the ice to leave behind a legacy. 
there's no doubt running any kind of farm comes with day-to-day -day challenges. We built a new facility two years ago. Technology has totally revolutionized dairy farming. Fast Milk gives us the tools to provide high quality standard of milk, making sure our equipment is all well taken care of, make sure that those animals are housed and cared for appropriately. They continue to push us with their standards to make sure that it just gets better and better. Viterra's world-leading, fully integrated agriculture network connects producers and consumers to supply sustainable, traceable, and quality-controlled agriculture products. We'd like to recognize Viterra's ongoing support to Curling in Saskatchewan through funding youth and school clinics, as well as other programs, and of course, the Women's Provincial Championship. Thank you, Viterra, for everything you've done and continue to do for Curling in Saskatchewan. This is it. It all comes down to this rock. The hours in the gym, the weeks away from my family. This is what I've been training for. And all those voices trying to tear me down. I'm here to silence them. We've given everything we have for a chance to get everything we want. So you're a pizza person, but you're married to a wing person, and your kids are salad people? You can't pick your fam, but with over 50 menu items to choose from, you can make them all happy. Order today and enjoy Boston pizza at home. Coming out of the fifth end break, Skylar Ackerman forcing Mandy Seltzer, well, as much as you call it a four, but making her take her one, four two the lead here after five ends. On our featured game this morning, our featured draw, Skylar Ackerman is 1-0 coming in. Mandy Seltzer, her first action here of the 2024 Viterra Scotties after the bye in our opening draw last night. Susan Lang's got a couple of updates on between the other action here this morning. We're looking at uh, sheet four. It's our first time over to the Nancy Martin game. 15. Playing, playing Brooklyn Stevenson. We can see Nancy with red rocks has the open Back hit. Four. Brooklyn was trying to hit and roll behind over to that collection of red rocks. They're on its own. Nancy Back having line. the open Back hit. Line. They hits and sticks. But now they can't 14. figure out if it's two for sure or what's happening with the little yellow rock Good over on the far right. The measuring sticks have to come out for this shot. As it turns out, they've measured, and it was a score of two for Nancy Martin to take the 5-4 lead after the fifth end break. Penny Barker facing two Amber Holland stones here. It's right, one right on top of the other. She needs a very delicate little draw little bump into the button but over curls it just a little bit that's okay. a steal of one for amber holland and she takes Should a five three bad. lead starting that sixth end for a couple in four and then adding a steal in five good morning for amber holland so far making yeah. her first appearance this, this week well yeah. amber holland is off to that hot start those last four shots of amber have been just perfect putting massive pressure on the Barker team. So Amber's starting to get her uh, feel for the ice out there. Penny Barker with a win Do last it. night in our featured game over Sherry Anderson, 1-0. and Do it! Needs to curl! Needs to curl! Hard curl! Well, it sounds like Amber's catching on to the ice quickly, considering this is her first game. She had the bye last night. Keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going. And that will be a big asset if you can get a handle on the ice very quickly. 14-5. You know, oh, for sure. To talk about this pool format and the... Okay. Not a lot of room for error. Yep. 
Because before you know it, it'll be Saturday. <laughs> oh my gosh. Top two teams from each of the pools, the two 16 pools, will advance into the page playoff. Well, one thing we haven't talked about yet for four teams, and it's the four teams that are playing their first game here this morning, their last game of the round robin is Saturday morning. My mom's a nurse. So Saturday could turn into a very long day for those teams okay. if they happen to end up in a tiebreaker. They would have to play tiebreaker in the afternoon and then perhaps page. It could be a three-game day on Saturday Somebody call for the four teams, just the four teams. There's only two games, the last two games of the round robin, Saturday morning. And that's the four teams that didn't play last night. Something to keep an eye on as we work our way okay, through the week here. and into the weekend. Of course, all of our coverage, every draw will be here, streamed live for you. Follow all the Curl Sask social feeds, the YouTube channel. And we say good morning to everybody watching. Back four. Line's good. Back four, Mackie. Our prime time Back coverage, 7.30 p.m. Two, local two, time, two. will be available Easy. all across Max Television, good, across yeah. Saskatchewan. Hard line. Hard line, buddy. Right to it, right to it, right to it. Yep, keep going. Right to it. Bounce it, bounce it. Yep, 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 yep. Hard, 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 hard. Move it, move it, move it, move it, move it. Ah. Yes, you guys, take Couldn't hold it on top, but. 14-5. Now the two reds are stacked up. It's going to take a stick of dynamite to move on a lot of rocks here at some point. But room on top. Button's still open. Mandy Selzer oh, trying fun. to Did you see it happen? bring another one in. Yeah. Well, for Mandy needing a, a steal here, this is as good a start to this end as she could have. She's got a guard. That rock at the top of the rings really acts as a second guard. And now she's got a pocket, a kind wall. of a wall forming behind the, uh, the button but didn't quite get there. If you could have got there, you need two stones yeah. to remove Right, them. right. And, and you can't get there yet to even throw one of those two stones, so you might have to peel a guard first. That, uh, it wasn't, again, it looks like she overcurls and she rubbed the guard, but that was maybe just a little bit light. If yeah. she's four feet heavier, she probably yeah. gets by. Well, and Skyler says, well, that's enough of this. Let's uh, <laughs> yeah, I start bailing. Surprised it took so long to peel yeah. the guard here. <laughs> That, that middle is getting cluttered. She wants to clean, see some open clean, space. Clean. Just clean. Great throw, Kayla. Really nice. Oh, she's laughing. Taylor Stremick removes that guard. Oh, I think we got to move back. Little tap. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I agree. How much weight? And now you'll try yeah. and back tap one back into back that spot. Four. We're going to tap the one on the right. Yeah. Preference on which one is more advantageous? Not really here. I guess if you tap the outside one, it still leaves the center covered, but. Get enough of it. Yep, hard, hard. That's good. And just yeah, won't be able to move it enough. Yeah, just a little light on weight. Looks like it overcurled, but I think with a hey. little bit more weight, it would have been fine too. <laughs> Three quarters. Just freeze. Yeah. Still very messy there on that center line. Yeah, the only real easy looking double she's got is, is two underneath. She, which, yeah, it plays the two underneath, and, and that's the, the stone she just threw, <laughs> albeit in the eight foot. They can use it for a guard, <laughs> and they'll come around and freeze to the one at the back of the button. Clean, clean. Yep. Oh, easy. Whoa. Whoa. Eight, five. Oh, eight. Are you yep. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. This will be good. One, two, three. Oh, that's a good one. How far can they drag it out? Need a full 12. But it hangs around. Yeah, most importantly, get those rocks out of the front of the 
top of the forefoot, though, so good shot. It's probably the best she could do with yep. it because you, if you hit the first one a little thicker, catch the second one thinner, it maybe doesn't clear those stones at the back of the forefoot. Stone for Aaron Barnhart, the third for Mandy Selzer. Yeah, it gives her another shot at coming around there. I've got a bad back, so I don't like bending over anyway, but when they're not bending over, Taking it's a, good look it's at a it. bad sign. And unable to bring it around and actually bumps that yellow back. And Skylar might be lying too here. So we don't have to leave a pocket? If you just draw right here, that's pretty good, no? Okay. Like top eight? It doesn't leave a double? No. Doesn't that leave a double? If you're here? If, well, if you've got last rock and you're sitting three and leave a double, like I don't think that, I'm real worried that. By anywhere, my math, so that still leaves you sitting one. <laughs> Which is true. But there's a lot of other yellow rocks hanging around well, as well. Yeah. But, but it's. But you Ackerman can't has do last anything rock. with the yellow yeah. rocks, yeah. Yeah. I guess if it really bothered you, you could make a play on the stone at the top of the eight foot and try to roll open side, and that would take away all of her protection. Well then, well then. Final stone for Ashley Tivano. Four is good. Four line only. Well, needs to grab it. Line's good. Coming down. Line's good. Stay close. T, clean. T. T. Needs to curl a bit. Writing the button. Yep, straight. Writing the button. Don't oh, leave oh, a double. Oh. Right, just yep, 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 yep. Just like that. Really nice, right actually. It's foot. actually really good. Half covered. I'm just wondering if I can kind of cross it to get that one. Flying three with the hammer here in six. I don't think this is going anywhere. No, I mean the bat bone behind. Good spot. Really nice. Yes. Really good. <laughs> Beauty. That went sideways at the end. I know, I was like, oh, like, uh, uh, keep going. Yes. Right. <laughs> Split it off there. <laughs> I think we need another one in this huh? No, I'm trying to I know eliminate. <laughs> I see what Mandy's doing. She's looking at running the yellow onto the red. Well, but, but she's, uh, she's worried about it, catching something in the back, and I don't know that that's there. It's not going to happen. I think you just dead stuff it and leave leave uh, Skyler the same problem she just had. Sheet one, Penny Barker has a crucial draw here facing two Amber Holland stones. Penny needs to uh, hold on here in the forefoot. She has backing, but needs this single point to stay in the game. It's now 5-4 Amber Holland after six, but Holland gets the hammer back. A force for Penny Barker. And Hasn't been easy this morning for her. But a whole lot of rocks in play back in our featured sheet here. And yeah. Skip Stones. They, they settled on the run, but we were doing the update, so I'm not sure. Manny was still looking at whether or not she could catch the stones at the back of the forefoot. The problem with that is you've got to hit the first one thin, and your shooter rolls away, and the stone that you're going to leave at the top of the eight foot is then pretty easy to remove. There's and just sneaks that pinballs through a little bit. Still too red. It does sort of change almost yeah. exactly the same thing. We're yeah. just going to have to play it with the other turn now. Looking at uh, throwing her rock right there. Oh, that's a very little rock. It's another little rock. There we go. Um, anyway, trying to do the Christmas tree thing. Yeah, same like same depth as Ashley's. Our yeah. yeah, it's a little wider. I just never okay. want to take that yellow. Yeah. yeah, as long as we're even if I'm like high and we're in front of our reds, it's still not bad. Yeah. Okay. I think the um, same kick you gave us on that one. This time, yeah, so. yeah. Okay. I, I disagree. <laughs> high in front of your reds, and she comes around and freezes to it. Your yours is a guard. First stone for Skylar Ackerman. 
with the hammer here in six. Top eight! Like to hey, go top ahead. eight, top four! Line's good. Line's good. Line's good. Hard, guys. Okay, you gotta go. Not, not top four. Okay, you gotta go. Hard. Hard. You gotta get it there. Okay, keep going. Keep going. Yeah. This you know, straight. yeah, this that was a, okay. that was an issue of when they discussed the tolerance. I, I didn't like that discussion. You, if you're gonna play that draw, you got to be in the forefoot. You yeah, can't they, be high. Sorry, guys, it's now a guard, and and if she oh, makes this draw, it's okay. it's a steal. Yeah, they come down and sit right on top and takes the whole end away. You you'll hear teams talk about execution tolerance all the time, but light was not the tolerance there. You couldn't be high in front of the reds. That's. That's where Mandy wanted you to put it. <laughs> Honestly, if we're, yeah. if we're being honest, that's what she was hoping you would do. Yeah, there's a good look at it. And now Mandy's got to make a shot. Bring yeah. this right Quite in. simply. Yeah. Well, we, we talk about momentum a lot. This is a chance. To, it, you'd still be down even if you get the steal. It's only a steal of one. You'll still be down by a point. But this is a, a chance to really swing some momentum their way, and they haven't had any yet today. Nine ten is quite Whoa. heavy. That means they're throwing back line, and they need it to curl. Although they're saying eight now, which is much better. They're sweeping for curl. Get across. It will sit right on top for shot stall. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, that's all you got. I think so, hey? Unless you want to straight draw the pin. That's hard. Pretty tough. Split. Yeah. Doubles there. Because this will come here and this will stay. Just off nose. Yeah, feel? The top eight foot one. Catch the one on this. Is there enough separation? What? Well, the, the red one's not going anywhere. They're going to run the top the one on the eight foot towards the one that was just thrown. Right. Yeah. It will catch the red one, but there's a pocket behind it. That red one's not going anywhere. Yeah. It's, it's what they're playing. Depending on how many rocks fly, depending on how many rocks fly, it. Yeah, I think it's only for one. Yeah, I think it's that middle red that's not going anywhere. Well, but the and one yellow is not going very far right. either, so they're not going to get it far enough to to perhaps pick up a second point with the shooter. Yeah. I guess that was the thought on. This is where it gets interesting when you get a cluster of rocks at the back and it's like, what's going to, how many of them are going to move and how far? Easy peel. Yep. 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 Final stone. Hard. Hard. Other thing Skylar does well is throw the big weight. Hard. 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 Skylar Ackerman. Got to hold the line to catch oh, the line. second one. Yeah. And didn't get the second one. Boy, oh, that yeah. was very close oh, to yeah. being extra points. She almost got by the yellow and clipped the red, which could have been a steal of two. Separation, you know, I think if you catch it thin enough to slip it up the side, a there was no separation yeah. to make that happen. Well, there's that momentum swing we were talking about, though. The, the big steal for Mandy Selzer, nice draw with her final stone. Hi, this is Dustin Keltoff with Saskatoon Auto Connection. Did you know we've moved to a massive new location in Sutherland? Let me show you around. We've combined sales, service, glass, and detailing into one automotive superstore. Whether you want to fix, maintain, or spruce up your ride, or trade it in for something fresh, we've got the team, the services, the inventory, and the financing to help you with any of your automotive needs. At PharmaSave, we see you and we care for prescriptions for common conditions, expert health advice, or support for life's little mishaps. Come talk to your PharmaSave pharmacist. Live well with PharmaSave. 
We're going to get an update over on sheet four. Nancy Martin, who won her opener last night, is taking on Brooklyn Stevenson out of the Highland Club in Regina. Susan? Brianne Meekin holding the broom here for Brooklyn Lemon, facing that red shot rock of Martin, looking for a red raise onto the yellow rock that's just outside the top 12. Needs to run that back to the shot rock on the forefoot. If they can do that successfully, it would be for two points, but Brooklyn already down the one point, 5-4. Just seeing the rock come into the shooter coming into view. Looks like... Hits the yellow, but... 11, yeah. And then, and then we got and freeze then, frame. And then it <laughs> froze. <laughs> and there it we go. just missed. Just missed. Steal of one for Lemon, Nancy Martin. Ten, taking five. control Queen. after six ends oh, at six oh, to four. Oh, oh, oh. That's Susan Lang coverage Ashley. of the other action going on across all four sheets of play here this morning. Darren Dupont, Kim Hudson, Sean Joyce also with you here throughout the week. And let the record show that for perhaps the first time ever, I was not the first one to use somebody's maiden name. Did I say Brooklyn Lemon? You yeah, did. I did. I knew it. Brooklyn Stevenson. I did that it's last always, year too. It's always me that does it first, though. <laughs> Sorry, Brooklyn. And thanks, Sean, for pointing that out. I just wanted to make sure that at least when it happens for me, we know that I wasn't the first one this year. <laughs> I'm always the first one. That's the problem when you've known some of these players back to when they were playing in juniors with their maiden name. You've called them that for so many years and then the, the name on the jacket changes and uh, it's hard to, to get used to that in the heat of the battle. Shots coming down. Well, especially when you're watching, when you follow three, them two, three, four, and you're looking two. and you're seeing who's Always in the draw one. and you're seeing the online two, programs and, and, and you think it's a different curler. <laughs> They can sneak up on you that they way. sneak up on you. Absolutely. Worst case I've ever seen was one that actually changed. Uh, it was Dana uh, Demers now. It was Demons when it was her maiden name. And between the time that they got their jackets done for the season and provincials, her name had changed. So in the program, it said Demers. But on her jacket, it still said Demons. I said, well, which one do you want me to use? And she would make a decision. So I called her Demons in the odd ends and Dem Demers in the even ends. <laughs> and she found out about that after the game, and she just laughed at me every time she saw me for the rest of the weekend. Athletes are interesting. You go ask an athlete, how do you pronounce your name? Is it this or that? Oh, whatever you like. <laughs> no, it's your name. <laughs> Tell, <laughs> Tell me. Tell me what you'd like, and that's what we'll say on the air. I feel like if it's a curler and you're asking them and they, and they say whatever you'd like, that's, that's the second. Everybody else is fussier. <laughs> Seconds, that's part of the job. You just got to be pretty easy going. Just go with it. Yep. Yeah. Whatever you like. That's good. Well, Skylar Ackerman retains the hammer here. Up 4-3 in the seventh. Looking at going around the corner here, came by a ton of room. Sliding a little deep. Good judge, guys. That's fun. So just hang That's on to fun. a piece of the 12 foot in the back there. Yeah. After a steal and six, Mandy Seltzer lying one without the hammer. Yeah, looking at coming around to sit two. Gotta go. Three. And they're on it right away. Hard line. Hard. Yeah, it sounds like they're on it for line and weight. Far can they drag okay, whoa, this? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa. Well, I sit Won't no, no, come no. around both of them. And it'll sit right on top. Or that. Heel. Nose is really close. Time we to start to making nose, a mess. Then we want to slash it. Then we won't make the double. 
That's fine. I'd rather make the double in the rings right now. Okay, we're going on the center line. Looking at running this one right back, the center one back. I'd rather Doubling the, the ones right in the now, rings, right? but leaving the shooter out front, but changing the color as well. One out the back, one out the side, and the third one out the Good other suit. side. Nicely done. Good suit, guys. And perhaps after the last end with so many rocks in play and a steal the one way, Skyler says we're going to clean this up <laughs> pretty quickly. It's another look at the, the shot called, executed. Still a center guard for Selzer to come around, mm -hmm. though it does belong to the Ackerman team. I'm going to finish this off. It's hanging out there a little bit, right on the center line in the eight foot. Even if you tuck just a little bit more of that, there's some danger that they, they've got to run it towards their own red when they're hitting it thin. She can see almost all of this now. We saw a stone earlier in the end, or early in the game, where coming around with uh, just back line to hack weight, and they got to the nose around uh, half around the guard, so lots of room to make this. Yeah, Fine. lots of room to make it, maybe even just get please. a little bit further Kaylin, behind. Kaylin, Kaylin. Roll the, the other way. 11.5, just a little big. A little more open. Sorry, yeah, I think it was okay, a little up. more weight than what they were planning on throwing. Okay. It wasn't up? Yeah. Aaron Barnard. Yeah. Their Whoa. final stone here in the seventh. How far is it going to roll? Over. Yeah, if you're going to be past the guard, try to get in front of the red shot stone. Okay. Kind of caught in between. Yeah, room here to uh, yeah. hit that one and yeah. get behind the corner. Sit a couple with last stone. Good look at the headwear of our coaches. <laughs> <laughs> Nowhere near as stylish as Mark Lang. No, he had the great this hat. Tam. He says he's got more though. Yeah. Clean. So it'll be interesting to see yeah. what he's got yeah. on the rest of the week. Yeah. 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 Hard, 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 hard. Any roll, any roll, any roll. The hit, and it won't get the roll. So it'll stay open in between those two guards. Probably an opportunity now for Mandy to play the double, and she's going to roll back towards the center if she makes the double. I don't know if she can get all the way behind cover. Sorry. She'd have to throw some up weight if she wanted the double yeah. and the roll buried. <laughs> Which she can. Yeah. Uh, we've certainly seen her throw that up weight. She's very capable. But yeah, I think it kind of looks to me that uh, if you get that roll behind center, you're going to dead jam. Chance to get out of a little bit of trouble though here. She's had that one hanging on at the back of the 12 foot that all in does kind of look like that could end up being the second point. And you'd hate to get, again, we talk about momentum, but it's, you just got a steal, a big steal that you were able to swing a little momentum. You hate to turn around and give up two right back the next end. Skip Stones here in seven. Mandy sells her in her Balgoni yeah. rink. Hard. Yeah. Yeah, hard. They're on this right away. Hard, quick! Hard, quick, hard, Sarah! Hard, hard, hard! 
want to get one. Can they get the second one? They won't. And yeah, but we'll think, sit for shot stone. I think they're buried. And behind. I think it's buried. Yeah. Okay. Top eight, probably? Yeah, just bite the four. I don't want to be so high that she loops one underneath of me. Now, burying a stone over there when it's shot rock is, is not likely to get you the steal, but all of a sudden, you know, a blank is probably a, out of the question now. Well, it takes gets away the force the, is what it might do. Yeah, it takes away Good. that second well, counter in the back, right? It, it only gets the force if Skylar doesn't make something good here. She's going to try to get her skips deuce, what we yeah. call it. She'll come play the come around, and yeah. if she can bury this top eight foot, yeah. tough for Mandy to do anything about it without still leaving a... She's gonna have a shot to score for sure. She dead buries this. Two still a possibility. It's really close. Back four. Back four is not where you want it. Then steel becomes a possibility. Yeah, it does. You know, she threw that draw with her last stone last in and came up well short of the rings. And you just wonder, is that in the back of her mind here? And she slides it deep. She's probably better off there than back four. If she, if she had put that right behind the button, you'd see the same thing as last in. Mandy Selzer would freeze to it around the guard, and you're looking at a chance to steal again. Slid Mandy back will come in and remove this. Yeah, she's going to make a play on it. She can see half. Even if she rolls out, Skylar. Yeah. I mean, okay. she could go after that one if she rolls out, but it's it's dangerous. I, it's almost like, like a stopper on I the I don't other think side she too. would. Yeah. Just sit two. What was that? 14 three. Probably the same thing. The final stone for Mandy Selzer here in seven. Little up. Yep. 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 Hard. 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 They're really on this one. Trying to get it past the guard. Just gets by and gets their hit. Narrowly avoids disaster and comes up with a great shot. So now a hit for one. And she probably can get away with being a little bit broomside because the angle of the two stones now, if she hits half a rock, she's rolling into her own at the back of the 12 foot and she probably still stays for, for shot rock. She'll look to, to try to duplicate what Mandy did, hit it right on the nose. I, I would bet she's throwing a little less weight than what Mandy just threw. The final stone here in seven for Skylar Ackerman. 11. Whoa. It's good. Wait, Taylor. Whoa, whoa. Taylor. Uh, looked Taylor. like she might have been a little bit of a pop. We call it on the release Hard, where it's Taylor. back a bit. And they're sweeping for every bit of curl Hard, they can get. Hard. 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 She'll make contact, but thin enough to be off the back of her own. And it'll spill out the back, and it will be a steal of one for Mandy Selzer. Back-to-back -back steals. Mo is in the building. Momentum. It is on the side of the Selzer rink out of Balgoni, coming out of that fifth end break. And we're all tied at four as we go to the eighth at the Viterra Scotties here in Tisdale. There's no doubt running any kind of farm comes with day-to-day -day challenges. We built a new facility two years ago. Technology has totally revolutionized dairy farming. Fast Milk gives us the tools to provide high quality standard of milk, making sure our equipment is all well taken care of, make sure that those animals are housed and cared for appropriately. They continue to push us with their standards to make sure that it just gets better and better. 
I come from an Indigenous background myself. My company wants to learn more about that. Sassel's given me the opportunity to join um, one of our network groups. We get to plan things with other Crown Corporations or with other um, companies throughout the city. Something as great as our National Indigenous Peoples Day. For me, that's why I'm so proud to be a part of this team. Hi, this is Dustin Keltoff with Saskatoon Auto Connection. Did you know we've moved to a massive new location in Sutherland? Let me show you around. We've combined sales, service, glass, and detailing into one automotive superstore. Whether you want to fix, maintain, or spruce up your ride, or trade it in for something fresh, we've got the team, the services, the inventory, and the financing to help you with any of your automotive needs. Run back after run back. Things up in the eighth end as we welcome you back to Tisdale. Back to back steals. He's put points on the board and three straight, three straight singles, but farther way back into this game, the Mandy Seltzer rink out of Balgoni after falling behind to Skylar Ackerman. They're down 4 1 after the fourth end, but three straight singles. They've clawed right back into this game and have the momentum. Yeah, momentum is kind of huge here, too, because normally if you're tied up playing half, playing eight with Hammer, you're pretty happy to be in that situation, but I bet you it doesn't feel that way for the Ackerman team. Line's good. Top four. Okay, top eight, top four. Okay, well, and momentum's on one side, and you've given up a couple of steals. How aggressive can you be, or how, you know? Well, you know, it's the even end. A lot of teams feel like it's, you're never bad to score in the even end, especially the eighth. You're not a bad thing to take one here. Actually, if you're uh, Andy Selzer, this is one of the few times when a team without last rock is thinking, we, we wouldn't mind a blank end here. If you blank end, blank eight, you've only got one hammer each left, presumably, and that's actually advantage Selzer more so than the team with last rock here in the eighth end. So you might see uh, Ackerman play a little bit more aggressively here, try to get her deuce with the thinking in mind that even if we just take one, it's the even end. We're going to have another hammer in the 10th, presumably. Yeah, even if you give up two, then in a nine, yep. you've got hammer playing 10. Down one, you're Down okay one, with that. Yeah. 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 When you start getting into the last three ends, especially when it's tied here as we play eight, there's a lot of cat and mouse and the situations okay. dictate. Okay. 11, yeah. It gets really interesting. It's fun to watch. Okay, it's nerve wracking to play. Yeah. 11 here. Well, as we sit here in the eighth, good time to think about our player of the game. It is a good time to think about the player of the game. <laughs> Still, so much to decide yeah. in a tie game. Yeah. 11, stay close. Kaylin Skinner oh, throwing lead stones for Skylar Ackerman. Gets the hit. And they lie two here with the hammer. And he's going to try and get rid of them both. I think just hit the sh the second shot stone and roll onto the corner of the shot yeah. stone. Yeah, so probably came back more. 11-6. Yeah, oh, double. Guess not. Well... I she's, thought I saw it. <laughs> she's gesturing to roll towards it, but I, like it doesn't look to me coming by the guard that she nope. can get that's, that's thin nice. enough to make the double. Yeah. Sarah, go. Yep, hard Sarah. Sarah. Megan Selzer. Second stones. That's Sarah Sluka on the broom. And Wrong just side. And will it curl back in? Dangerously close. Are wings? Stop eight. I heard a comment about if the rings are fat, so it's it's one of those ones that's probably close enough to measure. If it comes into if play. If it comes to that, but you know, it's it's in the back of your mind already is that a blank? Right now, a blank's not not in play. You have to. Uh, both teams have to assume that rock might be in. affect the strategy Four. calls the rest I'm of the end. Five. Yeah, good point. Really? Doesn't change really? this one much. Really? For Ackerman, she's thinking about trying Three to get two. Line's coming really nice. Line's good. Line's good. Line's good. Just go for distance. Oh, easy, easy. Just touch the center. Just touch the center. 
there in the full eight foot. 15-6. Well, the weight has stayed the same. As we listen to the players say, it's 15-6. Still come to the middle. So no slowing down over the slide path yet. Cut peeve. Cut peeve. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm Mandy that I'm hitting this. Mandy uh, is. I, I thought she yeah, might look at just reason to when that when that last one over curled and left her the front red and stopping on the tee line there. Brooklyn Stevenson ties it up six six going into the eighth end. Is that what passes for well past the guard? Yes, exactly. <laughs> Lots of room. I I was sucking in as she was going by. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just camera angle. <laughs> oh, a tight game there over on sheet four. Meanwhile, here on our featured sheet, there's three straight across almost. Yeah, yeah, they were. The tap on their own didn't help them. Not at all. Now, which two do you want to remove? Not bad. Yeah. Well, Probably I don't. the one where you can leave your shooter behind the yellow. Yeah, and I don't think you're getting sure two out. Not sure you can. You could you exactly can probably move what the she second one. Yeah. Because the stone on the on the center line is kind of behind, just slightly behind the one that's behind cover, you can hit it and roll into the back end of that stone. You can move it, you probably move it out in the open, but I don't think you could ever get it out of play. You'd, ha you'd really have to throw it hard, and it's more important here to keep the shooter in behind cover. So Aaron Barnard. We're into third oh. stones here in the eighth. Woe right out of her hand is usually an indication it might be a little full. And they, they made a, a quick decision to change the shot here. Well, bump, they will lose the shooter. Oh, that's, uh, yeah, not what you wanted. Yeah, that, that uh, helps Ackerman. It actually gets rid of a the lot. grouping of the stones. Yeah. Yep. Top eight. Good try. Top eight. eight. Yeah. Go right around it. That's better than okay. staggering it, I think. Yeah. Ashley Tivano throwing third stones for Team Ackerman. Heinz big release, big release, big release. Heinz got it. Trying to big release. take control Heinz back in this game after they had it early. Even. Can we go around? Yep, hard then, curl. Just even right now. Okay, keep going. Go, go past it. Gotta be past it. Yep, yep, yep. Go for distance. Go for distance. Yep, 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 yep. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Bounce it off. Bounce it off. That's not bad. Good call, guys. Right, touch a little bit of the forefoot. Well, and when she said that, it's not bad. It's because there's no, Good there's dad. really no doubles 15. here. Okay. Um, yeah. Even though it wasn't what they were playing, they were playing around on top of it. Mm -hmm. The way it sits is not terrible at we're all. We're going to see a coach. Yeah, Mandy's going to take her time out. Yeah. See and maybe here. Well, and she even indicated, I thought she gestured towards the guard. I, I think you're following that stone down all day. And, and even if you could tap it back about three or four inches, just so that you could play the short run on the next one. <laughs> That's a good question. Good question. I don't have a coach, uh, coach's mic. Slightly so. inside of you know. Just inside, and then we get this. This is always stay open. The only other shot is take a run. It's pretty high level here. Not a big fan of that. I thought the I like the half the other. I like the half. You like the half waiter? Yeah. I do too. Yep. Do you like that? At least that way, even if it doesn't come across enough, get the flop to move on top of this one. Yeah. Okay. 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 Understand? Right. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. okay. They're all on the same page. They all yeah. agree, anyway. I like it with even less than hack. I, I don't think it's important necessarily to kill the back one, but they have to move it. You can't just freeze to it because you still wouldn't be able to promote it on the next one. The nice thing for Ackerman with where that stone stopped, if Selzer's team comes down, even sits in the pocket, 
they're still only fourth shot. So you've got to, if even if you were playing some kind of a freeze, you've still got to move it enough so that when you tap it up on the next one, you can get, at the very least, second shot. So you have to move something here. It's just a question of how far. This is not about really necessarily thinking that you're going to be able to count this stone. It's you need to create room to get around that guard. That uh, that last stone really cut off your path to, to anything you could bury for okay. shot rock. Yep. Four. Final third stone for Aaron Four. Barnhart. Four. Yeah, it's about creating Four. what you can Four. do with your next yes. one. It's really hard, got to get it by. Oh, Plan B could be, boy, the way that was know. curling, I thought they could have left. If that curls just a hair more, <laughs> they're kind of corner frozen on that yellow red. It's really good. Yeah, it, even as it is, because it's a corner under the guard, it's going to be tough for Skyler Ackerman to move that yellow. But who's sitting what? Oh, we're about to see. Doesn't just one, yeah. Does it matter because well, if you if don't move that, yeah, but if you don't move that yellow, it's there to tap up. You only have to tap it three inches and it's shot rock behind cover. I have two yeah. thirds. I have two thirds. Okay, you probably have to touch the red, which is fine. Touching the red out into the open wouldn't be the worst thing for you right now. We're gonna go to sheet one. We got an update with Amber Holland uh, leading five four. All and long in the eighth, and Amber was wondering if she's going to be counting three or four. Two big shots by Penny Barker, a freeze tap, and then a big uh, raise double has forced Amber now to take a wide intern draw around this top yellow. Slides a touch deep, and Penny Barker is going to steal one to tie this game up after, five, after eight. Go, 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 go. The steal to get right back into it, and here on our featured sheet. Good three, Taylor. Thanks. Nice call, guys. Now the live three after a neat little yeah. tap back of that yellow. I knew you'd have to hit the red one. She called it from the hack. Yeah. You guys are getting tired of hearing me say this, but if she makes the <laughs> double, she probably gets the triple here. They're just yeah, it the, is. The, <laughs> the angle is there that it's hard to make the double without catching the third one. And then suddenly that little one that's sitting off on the side that we can't tell if it's in the rings or not. Comes that, back that, into play. That question becomes a little bit bigger. Aaron's just going to take another little look at the angle here. It, she's looking at the angle for the third one too, but it's, it's one where you're not really looking at that. You're, you're playing the first double. And if you make the double and, and we catch the third one, Bonus. great, yeah. You, you're playing the double right now. It's just that the way the rocks are sitting, it, it probably means if you're getting the double, you're probably getting all three of them. Skip stones here on eight. Yes. Mandy okay. Selzer. Hard. Hard. Yes. Hard. Go to go. Called early. Uh, there was no pop on that release. Hard. 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 It's got one. So unable to get the double or the triple. And lost her own at the back, too. Yeah. We're still two, so we wouldn't have to hit it. Yeah, still leaves Ackerman sitting, too. It's, it's a dangerous rock to leave, though. What does Mandy have to work with? That one that's there. Yeah. Then you make a double. Similar to the last shot that Skyler made. Getting rid of that, not leaving it to be tapped back. And right, to right. be a problem. Let's okay. just get rid of it. It curls. But she's going to draw. But they're not. Yeah. 15? Yep. Skylar's top four weight has not necessarily been in her back pocket, so it gives her a chance to, you know, get another feel here as well. Rhythm call, yeah, for top four. 
one of the issues that they've had with her in shots has been the tolerance, though, and they have to keep that in mind here. You could be full eight to top four. You don't want to be T-line because, again, Mandy Selzer will follow it down, sit right on top of it, and now those those two shots that are in there right now are, are out of play. Right. Just bite. Just bite. That's good, though. Beauty. Okay. Full eight foot. That's real good, yeah. Sits under cover. And he's got nothing really left but to hit the one on the edge of the eight foot and try to roll underneath the one that uh, Skyler just threw. Roll underneath the double guards now. Yeah. Yeah. Which is you know, why you might have considered uh, hitting the top yellow. Hitting that sit three and let her play the draw around the one guard against what is probably handshakes. If you're if she's playing that draw, you're already sitting three. Yeah. She's potentially leaving you a shot for four. Sit here in the eighth, Mandy Selzer getting set for her final stone. And it feels like a big one. <laughs> it feels like it. <laughs> <laughs> Needing to put well, this in a good spot. For sure. She needs the roll here. Sounding close. The hit, and how far will it roll? Not much, and now how much room do you have in front? I think they're already sitting two. <sighs> Where do you draw to, though? I guess take a little more ice and just come through the hole. I think you look to see at or if you hit it, does it leave you as a third shot? How much room is there? You kind of got to hit it on the inside. And even then, you're rolling into the side of your own. Like, yeah. Can you get? Yeah, I guess you roll right into the side of your own. You're, yeah. You'll have it. You're enough. okay. The yeah. kind of weird now because we can't like sit on our own. Yeah, where do you draw? And you don't want to risk tut bumping the yellow one in. Yeah. My weight on my last one was close. So a hit for a possible three for Skylar Ackerman. Looks to already be sitting two. This is not, you know, there, there's the scoreboard behind her after Selzer's team stole the back-to-back -back singles to get themselves back in it. This is not the eight end they wanted. They were close on that shot, but, but even the sweep call, there was another one of those ones where they were back Sounded and forth like and they just, yeah. they needed to sweep for that last little bit of curl to get the rolling behind. Clean. Whoa, whoa. Final stone. Clean. Whoa, curl. Here in the eighth. Clean, clean, clean. Real good. They like it. They hit right in. And there they are, three points on the board for Skylar Ackerman here clean. in the eighth. To open up the lead once again. Yay, she's back. <laughs> and she is back. We'll go to the ninth end, the 2024 Viterra Scotties from Tisdale. Yeah. <laughs> we know farming isn't an eight to five business. That's why we want to give you the tools to do business anywhere, anytime. With My Viterra, you have a powerful tool at your fingertips to stay connected no matter where you are. Create online contracts, receive customized alerts, view your account information, and access grain prices in real time. Talk to your rep today and find out more about how you can harness the power of My Viterra, keeping you connected in real time. This is My Viterra. Quax and Tisdale's rocking on a Thursday morning. 
At least I think there's a few cowbells out there. The crowd's pretty good. I think everybody's some thought. And they haven't put the score up from the last end, but three on the board for Skylar Ackerman. Opening up a 7-4 lead. As we welcome you back in the ninth end of our coverage this morning. Great action across all four sheets. The action was good last night. The scores weren't as close as they are today. Yeah, that's right. We've got some great games going on out there this morning, and the scores are all pretty close. There's no runaways. Oh, but even with the lopsided scores last night, in our feature game, let's look at that one, for example. We came back from one end at the break, and it was a 10-4 to score, but at that point in the game, it could have been the other way. I mean, there had been yes. opportunities. Oh, huge, huge swings yeah. and uh, huge opportunities for sure. So it, it looked more lopsided than I guess I would say it really was yeah. because it, it could have been the other team that had been in front. The, the scoreboard, score. yes, deceiving for sure. Penny Barker, Amber Holland are locked in a really close game here over on sheet one. Nancy Martin, who won last night, is in a battle with Brooklyn Stevenson out of the Highland in Regina. As we get in near the end of draw number two. This one will creep in. Will it sit on a piece of the center line? No, it will not. <laughs> but a nice guard. Yes. I can't hear her. Reminder, our afternoon draw today will come your way here on the streams. 3 p.m. local time in Saskatchewan. I, I thought, especially with the first corner guard being as tight as it was, I thought we might see Mandy throw the second corner. But she's not. No. Well, it, it's a little, I mean, you ignore the center for too long, you do get in trouble. But the other side of it is you're down three with you're only two ends to play. Yeah. <laughs> But it's, yeah, with the ninth end. It's, it, you're a little desperate here. Yeah. You have to take a few risks. Yeah, absolutely have to score two. But if you score two here, statistically, you still lose this game most of the time. You, you'd like to get a chance for three if you could. Then you only have to steal one at the tenth end. Which statistically you'll still lose. I was going to say, it, it's, yeah, it's, it makes that sound simple. Well, it's about a 60 40, though. It's not as bad as. Uh, 90. If, if, you, 10? if Wait. you only get two here, you got to steal 10, and then you got to steal 11. Yeah. So you're telling me needing to steal one is easier than needing to steal two? <laughs> it's the stealing two ends in a row. Yes. But. She's got a track record of doing it in this game. Yeah, exactly. Proven you can do it. Yeah, she's done it twice, back to back. And that one's sitting on the corner. She's got too many straight lines on her side of the scoreboard, though. She needs one crooked number here. <laughs> Speaking of those, yeah, close games. Yes, exactly. Here we are finishing up the eighth end. Tied 6-6. Six, six. Nancy Martin had attempted the double on her first shot. Didn't get that second shot out. Brooklyn Lemon Stevenson countered nicely with the hit and roll, forcing the hit and stick for the single point. 7-6 lead in the crucial eighth end there for Nancy Martin. Well, Stevenson forcing so, her into the single. Now we're just giving her a hyphenated last name, whether she's right. got one or not. <laughs> they have so much time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you can freeze one in there. Yeah, a bit of a team discussion here. Mandy's first instinct or call was to run and peel the guard, but uh, the team is saying... Yeah, not turn sure around. that's really what turn, we want to be doing. Turn around and look at the scoreboard. I don't yeah. think we're peeling guards. And it's the ninth <laughs> end. <laughs> this is not going to be played like what you'd see as a traditional peel. They're playing it, and you saw the, the, the indication with the broom. This is really, they're playing a hit and roll. They're just trying to get a corner guard instead right. of a center, and which will open up the things in, in the house. But she's got to keep this rock in front of the rings. She cannot roll out, and this is a lot of weight. 
She'll hit and will roll out, so they'll lose both stones. And let's just see how long it takes Skyler Ackerman Not to walk long. up there and peel the corner guard. I don't mind, like, did I say just like tapping this on the nose with just like hack and just wiggle it around a bit? That or we can let the guard back. No. I hate that. You peel the yeah, corner guard from the center line side. side. Your shooter's yeah. coming into the red on the center line, and it little pops little that yellow out into the right? open. You get everything. Yeah, no, it's doing hair this side. Yeah. And every, yeah. all your plays in the rings. Yeah. The Do corner guard's the much? only one that ever hurts you. And you don't love that she's leaving that out no. there? No. That's, I'd be, especially the angle of the rocks in the house. There's a lot of good things that can happen for you peeling that, that guard. When, you, when your shooter comes across the... The rings, yeah, anything that it touches in the middle well, helps you. Easy. You're going to break that just up, too. Clean. Yeah. yeah. Just clean, just clean. It's, it's, it's coming into close, the rings at a great close, angle for you. Close. There's just nothing bad just that can happen just when clean. you're coming clean, into the clean. rings. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, oh, yep, 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 yep. Hard, 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 hard. Hard. Beauty. Really nice, Taylor. A little separation. 12-8. And line Good two. Day, Beauty. Mandy's going to counter with a little hit and roll. Yeah, she's kind of got two choices here. To, I, I might have elected to throw the draw. She could throw the draw into the cluster. And what it looks like she's trying to do is if we clean up the middle a little bit, sooner or later we get a chance to use that corner guard. Still two red ones counting. We're one, two. You still want her to get rid of the corner? Well, at the this rock point. The rocket 12 foot's dangerous now. The pocket yeah. is dangerous. Yeah, she probably has to get rid of one of the two in the rings. Take your pick. It really doesn't matter which one. Has to get to the nose on this. Doesn't mind if she loses her one behind it. Just doesn't want to uh, stuff it on that one. Ashley Tivano. As we're into third stones here in nine. Harder. Looking for curl here. She Harder. can't be on the outside. <sighs> Jams on the Ten red three. one in the back. And didn't get it out. Yeah. She didn't mind losing her own, but the yellow's got to fly. Stop. Yeah. So still two yellow stones hanging around. Yeah, you're going to see the double here. Aaron can throw the big weight. That top red should go over the top of the yellow. I think so, yeah. Aaron Barnard. Nine five. Yep. Other time. Hard. Really hard. Yep. Right to it. Gotta go. Hard. Yep. Hard, Sarah. Yep. Yep. Hard. Yep. Quick, 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 quick. Roll the shoot. Right on this one. One, two, and it'll jam on their own in the back. Yeah, she needed to stay nose or high side a little bit. Yeah. She got just across the face, so she catches the second one a little thinner. thinner. Yeah. Still not the end of the world for the Seltzer team. Kind of helps them out. They're sitting second and third at the top of the rings. Both of those rocks are problems for the I'm Ackerman team. Like, you could try the double, but there's some danger that you jam it. Just, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Sure. So they'll like to just take off the one as we get another update, Susan. All right. your turn. Yes, here we are, oh. last rock. <laughs> and Jenna Tisdale is trying Wait, a very a skinny <laughs> tick double for three, but it just hits a little too thick. I believe it just touched the other red rock, leaving her one to make this score seven to five. It's hard to tell because we came up there so quick, Susan. Did did she need that little touch to make sure she scored? Yes. Or? Okay, so she yes, they were pretty sure that Robin had hit and rolled over for shot. So rock. it was against two, and by touching the second rock, she at least scored. That's right. Yeah. Well, Robin Silvernagel, the defending champion from last year, and Estevan dropped her opener last yes, night, needing yes, a big yes, bounce yes. back this morning. Hi. And Light seems to be in better shape. 
Easy, clean, clean, yeah, keep going, clean, yeah, keep going, clean, keep going, clean, keep going, keep going, keep going. Good. And okay. I hit. Okay. And Ackerman now lying too. Yeah. Yeah, the overlap on those is interesting though. Yeah. And the angle that they're on, yeah. Well, it's, it's, I don't know if you'd play it, but you, I'm surprised she's not at least looking at it. If you hit with about half weight, hit the yellow, half a rock on the right side as we look at it there, both rocks are rolling towards the corner guard. Both yellow stones roll yeah. towards the corner. And all of a sudden that corner's back in play. Well, and, and the corner's already crept back into play because the play has gotten off the center line. The shot stone is only at the edge of the eight foot. Yes, if you're buried, you wouldn't be shot, but Skyler Ackerman's not going to guard the stone on the edge of the eight foot either. So the hit, and will it settle for a shot? Very close. I don't know that it matters. Yeah. Skyler can't ignore it. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. They might roll under, but yeah. 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 And I'll tell you what, if you nose hit this, okay. now you can get around that corner guard for shot rock. Now is it my turn? <laughs> I, I didn't catch that, but apparently yeah. maybe somebody the wrong player getting into the hacks at one point. Or maybe Skyler had started to make her way down on the yeah. last shot. Yeah. Like, no, no, like just to the edge of the four foot. Like, but still in the edge. <laughs> Eager to get to skip stones. Well, skip stones now. Yeah, nice time. Ten. So kind of important to get a bit of a roll back back towards the center line here just to make sure she can't draw around the corner and the other side of it though if you roll too far you know if she ever rolled behind those two at the top of the 12 foot I think she's behind the D line yeah I think so too I was looking at that before that hard I don't think we're rolling hard 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 the hit and we'll roll out so I'm un unable to save the shooter good sweep Decision time now for Selzer. How yeah, do you now we approach this. Okay. Have a tie game in the ninth end over on sheet number one. Yes, Amber Holland has been in trouble this entire end, but does have this opportunity if she can angle raise her third shot rock into that one on the button. And she makes it absolutely perfectly, counts a single point in the ninth to take a 6 5 lead into the tenth. They go to the tenth. Well, I'll be honest, when I said that it's decision time for Mandy Selzer, this is not a shot I would even have considered. She's hitting the red one. She's going to leave a double. And it, like, I'm drawn here. <laughs> yeah, I'm never hitting this stone. I'm, I was shocked that she put the broom down for the hit. Skip you got a few choices where you could draw. You could even play that split that I talked about on the last one. But it's real hard to make this double, make this hit and not leave a, a pretty easy double back. Go, go, go! Like that? Yeah. <laughs> and after she makes the double, I feel like the deuce is going to be hard. <laughs> oh, you're so witty first thing in the morning. The coffee was on. Yeah. <laughs> That's a big coffee cup. What was she hoping to get out of that? I have no idea, to be honest. Like, if you roll as far as you can and hold on to the rings, you get more separation. But the angle's always going to be there for a double. I mean, you can make it a little harder if you get them separated more. But uh, I, I guess you're hoping for the I, other team to miss. And you yeah. Get yeah. <laughs> I'm looking at the, I'm just glancing at the clock. Like, they're not even tight for time. It wasn't nope. a case of where they just rushed it. It just... That wasn't a well thought out decision, I don't think. She well, had. and that's sometimes where you think, where are the other three players or the coach? Why didn't somebody perhaps, well, anyway. As they were playing, getting the play farther and farther away, and Close. we kept talking about it, and I'm sure that should have been part of the thought oh, process. Oh, we've now out. got it back to where the corner guard is back in play, and then they yeah. didn't use it. And there's the double. 
Nicely done from Skylar Ackerman. Now you have to try to split that rock into the rings. And I mean, it might be there. You know. It's only there from the intern. There's right. no chance from the out. I'm almost thinking, I don't know, Sean, what are the statistics? Are you better off to try to get three and ten than try to make this split? Which is a very hard Because the well, downside of the split are you is that you one take here. one, yeah. Yeah, you're thinking of the, the worst possible myth. Because yeah. if you, you play the split and go right by it, you you might be through the... Well, no, you probably can't throw backline weight at this. Not on those, this it split. Is so this is not skinny. there from this turn. This is the much harder turn to get it. You f Playing from the intern side, you could hit this rock a little bit fuller and the gear effect on your shooter will help you get into the rings. You're going to come off playing the out turn. You're going to come off that uh, stone. Your shooter's going to come off very dead. So you actually have to hit it a little bit thinner to make sure the shooter gets into the rings. And now when you hit it thinner, it makes it harder to get the raised stone into the rings. But to pull this off and not take one. And then, you know, yeah, I, I get what you're saying. Might be easier to just, okay, let's try again to get our three. Let's, yeah. Let's reset and let's go after three again. And it might be coming down to, again, first game for this team. So much has been worked on draw to the middle, and she maybe feels like she knows yeah. the line better. Close. They, they, they yep. even asked her in the hacks, we could play the other turn, but now you're playing outside or inside oh. out, which they haven't played a lot. Oh. Final stone here in the ninth. Trying to hit and spill the shooter in, get them both in. And maybe not the worst scenario, Kim. Yeah, that's kind of my point. A blank. Yeah, better than one. A blank in nine, so we go to ten. And they need three with the hammer when we come back to Tisdale in the 2024 Vitera Scotties. This is it. It all comes down to this rock. The hours in the gym, the weeks away from my family. This is what I've been training for. And all those voices trying to tear me down. I'm here to silence them. We've given everything we have for a chance to get everything we want. When we were first looking at these e-bikes, I read the reviews. What they talked about was an e-bike grin, and I had no idea what an e-bike grin was, but the first time I powered that bike up, I had the biggest smile on my face. It was unbelievable, because unless you own one or have driven one, you really have no idea of what that feeling is like. It's, it's, uh, it's hard to describe. Boston Pizza's legendary spicy pierogi pizza with cactus cut potatoes, bacon, cheddar cheese, and a dollop of sour cream. If that's still not pierogi enough for you, you could always fold it in half. The spicy pierogi, only at Boston Pizza. So we go to the tenth. Skylar Ackerman. After a blank, still up three. Mandy Selzer has the hammer down three here in ten. This is the evolution of the game with the free guard zone and everything. It, uh, traditionally, you'd bounce this rock off the back wall, which you still could do. You're three up, but you know that your opposition is going to throw two corner guards before you get a chance to hit any of them and you'd like to put one in the middle to force them to deal with that later and perhaps leave you a chance for a double if you need it. They didn't want it there. It's in the rings, but it's essentially a guard because it's only just biting the top 12. This has got to be a guard and... Did you suck it back in your side? Brushers are almost backing away from this. They don't want this sliding in. I go back to the last shot from Andy in the last end, and the question in the hack, well, I could play the other turn, which you guys talked about. And when you've got so much time left, 
would you not step out and have the discussion about the other turn? I mean, it was a, it, it's a very tough shot anyway. How much time do you want to burn on that particular shot, knowing that you're going to have to play aggressively in 10? Uh, the one that I would have liked them to talk about would have been the shot before. Like, that hit. You're leaving yeah. a double uh, that, that yeah. took your whole end away. And, and they made the decision. Like, she, she didn't even consider any other options, which really stuck out in my mind. Because it just looked like the whole end, she was playing to clean up the middle so that she could use the corner guard. Well, she got everything cleaned up and a chance to use the corner guard, and then she hits a rock in the top of the 12 foot. Like, it didn't make any sense, and it didn't seem consistent with the rest of the way she had called the end. Yeah. So now needing three here in 10. Calling for their second corner guard right on top of the one they just placed. She's gotten as much help as you could possibly expect from the Ackerman team to start yeah. this end. You start a rock with essentially a guard. It's touching the 12, and then you go back of the house with the next one. And then you put one behind the T-line. You've got a tight corner guard with your first one, so looking for a longer one on the same side. Try to line them up. Like that. Yeah. Nicely done. Maybe a little more separation, but it's pretty good. Okay. This is okay, this yeah. is what Mandy needed for a start to this end. Taylor Stremick throwing Come second on. stones Needs to curl a bit. for okay. Skylar Ackerman. Needs to curl a bit. Line's okay. Stay close. Needs to curl still. Needs to curl still. Always curl. Always curl. Really good. Really good. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. I'll bring that into full eight foot. 15 seven. Good, Taylor. Either just ignore it and come in. Well, in my coaching days, <laughs> and even my playing days, the general rule of thumb was you you turn around and you look at the scoreboard and that tells you how many hits you're playing. And to me, the answer would be none. And here they are peeling out one of their one of their guards. I mean, it belongs to the other team, but yep, yep. there's no way I'm throwing a hit here. No. Hard! Gotta go. Hard! Whoa. Every rock in play is your friend. And now you've put one in the back. Yeah, and going back to when they did get the back to back steals, it was lots of rocks in play, pockets. Skylar can just start peeling out rocks. She can start peeling out rocks, but she's got to uh, pale, peel sorry, from the inside out um, because of the rocks that she threw in the center line too. So she has to change it up a little bit. But We got a final over on sheet three. Robin Silvernagel picking up the win over Janet Tisdale. And so Robin improving to one and one after a loss last night. Big win for them. And Janet Tisdale in her ring from the Highland Curling Club pick up a loss in their first match of the Viterra Scotties. Hard, hard, push. You got to go. Hard, hard. Hard. Great up, great up, great up, great up. Get away. Don't over That'll just jump in and bite. Yeah, trying to na navigate the port. Three quarters. So looking at making the double peel here. Nice thing is they're staggered in such a way that she's got to hit this off the nose to make the double. She probably can lose the shooter too. Yep. Yep, yep. Easy, easy. Whoa! Oh. Clean. Yes! Yep. Oh, oh, oh. On it a little bit. Yep. One, two. Oh, and just off the 
face and shooter too. The shooter's out as well, yes. Nice shot, Ashley. All right, dude. Nice buddy, Katie. Let's make him count. Not really any decisions left to make for the uh, Selzer team. You come around the corner guard. You presume that Ackerman's going to peel the corner then if you make this good enough that she can't get at it. You come and sit on the back one. She hits the open one. You come and sit on the back one again. And then you're hoping you've got a chance to throw your last one. Yeah. This has got a lot of weight. 14. You think it'll keep going? 14. And that will roll yeah, that right was not out in the, game the back. <laughs> and now for Mandy Seltzer. She needs them all to count. Yeah, I, I'm not even sure it helps you a lot of, if, if you're Mandy, if they were to nose hit this peel now, because you come around it, she's got another chance to peel it, and then she's got an open rock to hit. You actually, you almost needed her to roll and to the center line and line the three rocks up in a row so you could come around and, and she couldn't peel both guards at one time. She's still gonna play the freeze to the back one, but now Skyler Ackerman can just peel her own rock out of the top of the eight foot, and you got nowhere to hide and you still need to get two more rocks yeah, to count. Yeah, you need them all in. Erin go. Barnhart and her final stone here in the 10th. And Mandy Sells are coming in to help. Get it all the way there. They won't get it all the way in into the 12 foot. Yeah. Skyler and Ackerman Skyler just needs to make this go away. Peel it out. And put a wrap on a second straight win to start the Viterra Scotties. The young skip in her third appearance here in the provincial playdowns made the playoffs last year. One of the four teams in the playoff, losing to Sherry Anderson in a very tight game in the playoff. Picked up a win in last night's clean, opening clean. draw. Clean, all the way clean. And it looks good out of her hand. Clean is the call you're looking for here. That's what you want to hear. Hit. It's out. And handshakes here in Tisdale. As Skylar Ackerman has picked up a second straight win to improve to 2-0. Way to come back. And Mandy Selzer has dropped her opening match here at the Viterra Scotties. She'll be back on the ice tonight, 7.30, against Jessica Mitchell. Meanwhile, Skylar Ackerman will be back out. Quick turnaround this afternoon against Janet Tisdale. Not quite as quick as it could have been. They get they get a bit of a break because we've got the sponsor luncheon going on uh, between draws. So That's nice. Yeah. The the draw is a little tighter tomorrow, but then again, uh, a later start tomorrow. So it's 10 a.m. is the first draw. And a little tighter for the teams that have to go to back-to-back. -to -back. And that's one of the quirks of the draw. Again, we talked about the 12 teams, and not everybody got to play last night. But when you've got 12 and eight are playing at a time, that means there's always four teams that are going to have to play back-to-back. -back and... Everybody knew that coming in. You're going to have to play a back-to-back -back at some point in time. Well, down to ice level, Kim is with Skyler. Our I do skip. have Skyler here. Great, great start to this event. 2-0, you've got to be happy with that. Yeah, we were hoping to start off on a strong foot here, so getting those early wins is always really important, especially in the round-robin format, for sure. Yeah, that's huge. We uh, have mentioned that a few times already on our broadcast as well. You guys have had a great start to this season. All season long, you guys have been quite consistent. How has that made coming into this weekend? Has that changed anything in the 
Um, I think just coming into this weekend, we tried to just build on the momentum we've had throughout the season and just kind of hopefully have our greatest peak here this weekend. And that was going to be my next question as well. You guys are, this is your third time at Provincials now. Is that right? Uh, third? My second, Taylor's second, Ashley's first actually, and Kaylin's fourth, I think. Okay. Yeah. Does that change anything coming into this weekend too? Are you building on that experience or are you using that experience in any way? Yeah, I think making playoffs last year was really important for us and I think hopefully we can make it back to playoffs again this year and then just having that playoff experience at a big event I hopefully will pay off and we'll be able to capitalize a bit more this year. Sounds good. All right, well, good luck this weekend. Awesome. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Skylar Ackerman, a winning skip 2 it all. We mentioned into the playoff last year in Estevan and off to a great start here at the Viterra Scotties with a couple of wins. We go to sheet one, tenth end. Amber Holland up six to five, Susan. Penny Barker has this opportunity to win the game here if she can do this wide intern drop. And needs to catch a good sized piece yeah, of the forefoot. Looks like at least half the forefoot. She needs half a rock in the forefoot. Penny had just drawn in on the top button on her first shot to set up. Amber Holland tried the raise double takeout to just for the force, but Amber's Rock just overcurled by a smidge, allowing this draw opportunity. So where Amber controlled most of this end, all of a sudden now the Barker team has an opportunity to pull out the win. So we're just seeing the... Amber Holland's had the lead since the fourth end in this game. Pretty strong sweep, but... Now, it seems to keep sliding. Kim Schneider out there with the broom, and it goes too deep. We're going to an extra end. Just a little too far, so Amber Holland will have the hammer in 11. They might have been sweeping a little bit for line early, and then it doesn't stop for them. So an extra end here in our opening draw of day two, draw two. So we know here in our other game, Stevenson versus Martin, we're not going to an extra end. This is Nancy Martin's last shot, and she can only see a little portion of that Brooklyn Stevenson rock sitting right on the button. She has to nudge it back, and keep her shooter in play. So a delicate little shot here for Nancy to pull out the win, holding the sweep on it. And she taps back just far enough, and Nancy, that was a barn burner of a game over there with an 8-7 win over Brooklyn Stevenson. Brooklyn Stevenson's first game, driving the bye last night, but Nancy Martin is 2-0, joining Skylar Ackerman. This is it. It all comes down to this rock. The hours in the gym, the weeks away from my family. This is what I've been training for. And all those voices trying to tear me down. I'm here to silence them. We've given everything we have for a chance to get everything we want. Bonus coverage here in draw number two in the morning here in Tisdale. Amber Holland and Penny Barker tied at six in the extra end. Amber Holland has the hammer throwing the red stones. And the guard is touching the center line so she can't play the tick. Deb Lozinski throwing lead stones for Amber Holland. Yeah, long time lead. Good, sweet, Joe. It's good. Brings 
those up a little bit. Not much to think about here for the first first couple of shots. It'll be until they leave some kind of a chance for a double. Just let it stop. For now, uh, Penny Barker's got a stone in the top of the forefoot. She's got one guard. She's going to throw the second. Keep Amber throwing after the guards for a while. I, I, I wouldn't be totally surprised to see her guard the entire end here. That stone in the top of the button is good enough to steal with. She would have liked a wee bit more separation on this one. A wee bit. I feel like this is a makeable double peel. <laughs> In fact, it might be hard to miss. <laughs> you could hit it on the nose and leave your shooter. That's probably the only way you're leaving a guard here, I think. And in an extra end like this, needing just one for the win, Amber wants to keep this as clean and open as possible. Yeah. And, you know, for Penny's situation, she does have a rock at the top of the button. She only actually needs one guard. But uh, and there's a stagger said. in that red-yellow. There's a stagger in that red-yellow. It's hard to, to protect it all with one guard. So you, she's probably very really thankful that hit on the nose. It's okay. You have to quit saying. I jinxed him. Yeah, I was I just going to say. <laughs> don't, don't tell them. As you said. Could leave Put the shooter the around. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're probably already wondering. I wonder which announcer said. <laughs> <laughs> Don't point at me, then they'll know. <laughs> we just need a big sign that it alone. was him. Yeah. It's always him. <laughs> it's always him. <laughs> Jenna Angie throwing second stones for Penny Barker. It was really good last night in that game over Sherry Anderson. You got it. Jill Springer. Get rid of the guard. As we move into third stones here in 11. Bit of a tough provincial for Amber last year in Estevan. Dropping yeah. out of that C event. Looking to bounce back this year. Or hoping to bounce back. Yeah, for sure. How big would that be for confidence in a pool play to, after sitting out last night watching to get a win this morning? Yeah, no, it would be for sure. That was huge that they uh, didn't play in last night's draw. Kim Schneider's the third for Amber Holland. And another peel. <laughs> At what point? You say that like you're disappointed. <laughs> no. And another peel. The question is, yeah, at what point do you start paying attention to the two in the house? Probably not, not, not till the very end. One. Yeah. She's got an angle on the red-yellow, so... And for right now, it doesn't matter to, to Penny. She'll throw the guard anywhere oh, kind of in that line. She might have to make a decision with her last one. Do you have to really guard That's the okay, red one? Again. Because that red yellow, if she, may, if she leaves it and Amber touches it anywhere, the red's not leaving, the yellow is. Okay. Well, so you well, might have to guard the red one well. with your last one. For now, it's get a guard on the center line. You know she's going to peel it for a few more yet. What's the most difficult shot to leave okay. at the okay. end, right? Now, did that one curl enough that she might be able to get the, to the two yellows? Probably, yeah. Uh... 
Well, you can change these up a little bit anyway. So yes, that is what they're playing. Okay. Here. The second stone for Kim Schneider. In the extra end. Boy, did that snap. Didn't that go hard? The hit will separate those. Maybe snap just enough because it moved yeah. both yellows. Cool. And really Probably opened things up a little bit. Good. Good well, it's left Amber sitting shot. It's now changed everything for Penny. She can't just <laughs> lob up guards for the rest of the end. Yeah. Even if she plays to move that red one, the entire yeah. forefoot's going to be open. Yeah. Time? Yeah, and she'll take her oh, time out here. Night. And talk this over. Uh, I don't want to play it. I, I don't want to be forced to in off, though, if we don't have to. Yeah. Like, tap it to here. Like, and then we, we control that part for another tap. Like, because we are sitting second, third. We tap it to here, we're going to be. Do you like this? You can play it here so it's not just like an automatic. Right. But it's wide open then. You put it here though, it's open. Yeah, so the thoughts here, that everything is going in the fact that if you, if you, you'd love to just play a draw. You want to get into the forefoot. You want to be buried. The problem is that stone that Amber has at the top of the forefoot is so dangerous. She can see a piece of it. She could run it onto anything. You could draw. Yeah, if you ignore it, she can just draw. So, so you, you, you probably need like, to move it. The question is how far. The They're talking about possibly just trying it to move to the back of the forefoot and, and create a pocket back there and then try to draw in front of it with the last one. The problem with that is Amber gets to throw a rock in between. Yes. <laughs> she can get to know if you could throw two in a row. Yeah, she can get to know. And, and so that's part of the conversation is when we do this, okay. what are they going to do? And then how do we react to that? What are you guys it's feeling the best with? I heard somebody say that they were worried about the one possibility that Amber might play. They could have to play an in-off. Somebody said, well, I don't want to be left with an in-off. I don't think it was Penny because I don't think she'd be scared of an in-off. She's very good at those. It's not It's not the shot you'd pick to throw without last rock at, yeah. in an extra end. But. Like, unless you... That she doesn't get a shot, but it gives us something to hide behind. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, gives you something to hide how? behind where you I mean, get there, though. You'd have to hit and roll to get there, yeah. I think. Okay, if we do this, and they make it perfect, we are going to have something this long. Yeah, I kind of like But this. that's a good point by Christy. If you're playing here, you want to be behind the tee line so that if they play that tap tap there's room for one more rock on top yeah the problem is or the run back i should say behind the tee line i don't think she's playing the top like maybe t is actually okay this promotion is fine because it's going to be over here we'll be able to come to it i like t okay. t let's do it no no Let's make it good. See. So skip stones here in the extra end. And Penny Barker without the hammer. What did they settle on? Uh, well, it looks like they're the coming hammer. to the edge of the button. Straight come around. A rink out of Moose Jaw, <clears throat> excuse me, picked up a win last night over Sherry Anderson. Line 
lines, great. Stay close. Straight. Straight. Boy, she has to get by that stone at the top of the forefoot. I don't think she's going to. Bounce it hard. And it'll just bounce off that shot stone. I'm not sure they really wanted to bounce it hard. That might have been when you get to plan B. She had also talked about if you corner freeze, granted, you got to hit and roll to get behind it. But there's an overlap on those two now. Well, and Amber can't take both of those hit and rolls in a way. So options might, on both sides. So you might have to leave both of them because if she makes one, you might need the other one. Yeah. <laughs> you just want to show the edge, right? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Okay. You got it. So looking to play the draw herself, this time on the intern side, get just by her own stone, sit shot rock, and, and that cuts down the amount of rings that uh, Penny would have to, to play the little hit and roll in behind on, and she'd have potentially two different rocks that she might be able to run onto it, just depending where it rolls to. Probably cuts off the, uh, the hit and roll off the yellow, too, if she if she makes it to the forefoot on this side. She'd be in the way. Amber Holland at a chrono. Signaling that it's pretty firm. Whoa. They're playing the hit and roll. Yeah. Oh, she's trying to roll to that spot. I thought she was yeah. talking about drawing Girl. to it. No. I got the roll. The hit, no okay. roll. 10-6. Not a chance I'm playing that. I saw you do this, but I, I still thought that You'd have to leave it on the high enough side. Well, what I was thinking is she wouldn't no be able hit. to hit either one of them, but right? there's still the whole forefoot and and okay. the guards aren't really in, the guards not really in the way. I still really like as, as much as the hit and roll is not a gimme. If you hit and roll to the top of the button, she plays the hit and roll from the other side. Well, that's a harder looking shot than what she's going to have if you just play this double. Ten. Like a good ten. You like that? Line? Okay. So they're going to throw the double. If, yeah, if you're going to play the hit, you have to play it as a double. You can't just play the hit and roll onto ten. the corner because like I think ten. the red would still be shot rock. Yeah. You've got to move it at least. Yeah. Maybe you don't have to get it right out, but you've got to move it a couple of inches. Final stone for Penny Barker here in the 11th. Without the hammer. Whoa. That might have been a little full Girl. on the release. Girl. Needing this to move. Girl. And she's going to miss right through the two red stones. And Amber Holland will pick up her first win here at the Viterra Scotties in an extra over Penny Barker. This is the tough one on the last stone. Yeah, well, I mean, it was always going to be a tough shot, but you know that as a skip when you get into an extra end without last rock, you don't get to expect to throw an easy shot, you know. Uh, she had a couple of shots to look at, picked the one she liked, and just didn't, probably wasn't her best throw of the competition so far. So she moves to one and one, though. She'll be back on the ice later today with a chance to to keep herself in the playoff hunt. Well, Penny Barker got a win last night, but drops in an extra end to Amber Holland, who's on the ice, picking up her first win here today. As you get a look at some of the other scores, Robin Silvernagel also picking up a key win for her group, trying to defend the title from last year in Estevan. After dropping their opener last night, picking up a win. Nancy Martin, also a tight win in uh, 
a game over Stevenson earlier on today. So the top two seeds both moving to 2-0 and this morning. Moving to 2-0 and atop each of the two pools. As we head towards the afternoon draw at 3 o'clock, we'll be back with you on the streams. Until then, for the entire broadcast crew, thanks for watching the 2024 Viterra Scotties from Tisdale.